everyone. Uh, welcome to another uh, stream of FTL. Um, today we're gonna be um, today we're gonna be uh, uh, going for a run with the Mantis A Cruiser. Um, uh, yeah, lots to say about this. Uh, they have uh, um, a pretty good boarding uh, setup from the start. So they start with a teleporter and three Mantises uh, uh, to compensate for the lack of. Um, of repairs that can happen, uh, they uh, and there's also one NG that can repair things on the ship if if and when needed. Um, and yeah, the weapon setup is pretty pretty yeah pretty bad to be honest. Uh, they have a small bomb and a basic laser. Basic laser is pretty useless against shields that have ships uh, against ships that have shields. Um, so yeah, that is. I don't know how much we're going to use the basic laser, but the small bump is going to be useful, especially in situations where they have a med bay, for instance, or a clone bay. Um, but yeah, there's ways to play around a clone bay as well that you don't have to use bomb parts uh, necessarily. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, okay, so right off the bat, a store. That's not too bad because we actually have the Mantis pheromones to sell off. Uh, they just increase the speed of um, uh, of your crewmates uh, by 25%. Not really that useful. It's all right, but it's it's not really necessary to, to have that. So that is something some junk that we can sell off. Uh, to start off with, I would like to see some some jumps to see if there's any distress beacons because we do have a uh, ng on board um, there are some events with a teleporter as well uh, so if there's distress beacons we can definitely make use of them uh, so right here that's really interesting um, we can only connect to the x beacon via this beacon so we need to make sure that uh, we keep that in mind for the end of the sector but yeah let's get right into it <coughs> Let's explore that asteroid field. Good stuff, no damage to us. Um, one thing that I forgot to do and that I should have done is actually pull these two mantids off um, of uh, weapons and, oh, maybe I should have, maybe I should have done this. Um, so I'm putting the NG right now on, on piloting um, because that gives me the option of running this mantis over later uh, to help out with the boarding events. And that then in turn uh, will just help us to, to clear, uh, uh, um, to, to be able to, to board much, much more efficiently. Okay, nothing really here, just some, some fuel, which is good. But usually what you end up getting with a, um, with a boarding ship is that you get a lot of fuel regardless. Oh, this is actually a really good event. Usually when you have slavers, um, when you kill off their crew, you may be able to free one of the slaves, so that's that's really useful. What I'm what I am worried about is they have a heavy laser and a beam weapon, and they time up pretty well. So we are going to take some damage in this fight, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm going to charge up the small bomb and see how it goes. Uh, uh, maybe we are going to be able to uh, to disable them before that. So we will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. We're gonna. Okay, this is actually quite interesting. They have a teleporter. So what I may do is that I just let them teleport over, kill off the remaining crew, not only on their ship, but also on our ship. Uh, okay, that's a rock. That is not great. There he goes. He teleports, I teleport. Let's see, where does he end up? In the <coughs> in this room. So now we're going to take damage from the... Uh, from the beam weapon. This is just another human, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we could get some training here, maybe? If this goes down, then then, the crew, then our, our mantis get a little bit more training. And now this guy got some, some training here. And Okay! I mean, perfect! Uh, so right here, we could make another mantis join, join our uh, crew. But I think I'm gonna go rock man. Uh, because of the amount of blue events that um, uh, that you can get from having a rock. Uh, they're also really good at uh, in boarding situations, so um, this might actually be really good for us. 
Okay, high scrap reward, some fuel, and if and another potential border. So yeah, really good. I do hear a fire here somewhere, uh, so I'm just gonna check it out. Yeah, I thought it might be here. Yeah, you are out of there. Okay, it's too much for 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 these guys to handle, so I'm just gonna vent out the room here. Drop the O2. Okay, engines are on fire now. Not too good, but yeah, I don't think it matters that much. I'm gonna pull these guys back. These guys don't have any, don't need any healing. Fires are out. Gonna put them back into their positions and... Hmm, I'm thinking of putting the Rockman onto piloting here to have the NG be more mobile. So let's do something like this. Oh, yeah, need to not forget to put the oxygen back. Oh, now these need to be healed up again. Um, <clears throat> good stuff. Let's see, yeah, put the NG on shields. Uh, that way he's pretty useful, but uh, um, I could still... Um, but I can still pull him off if needed. Uh, to um, uh, to get the uh, to repair everything on the ship if necessary. Good, high scrap reward, some fuel, not bad, not bad. Let's see how this connects up because I see a bit of a gap in here, uh, so that means that we probably can't jump here. Okay, this one connects to that. That's pretty far. That's good. And uh, this one over here, yeah. So it, it does connect up nicely. Uh, I do think I want to go down and then maybe up and over. Uh, depending on what, what these jumps down here are. Um, so yeah, let's just go to this jump next. Um, yeah, so this is a bit tricky. Uh, so I know they have a drone and they have a heavy laser. And we currently cannot damage this ship. And their FTL is charging. I mean, well, why not? Why not? I'm going to run my, one of my guys over to, to weapons. Uh, because I want my, my smoke pump to be charged a little bit faster. This might be an issue. Yeah, we took the damage there. Yeah, that's... I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to disable their uh, uh, weapons here and afterwards I'm going to target piloting. Okay, I have to target piloting now. It's quite bad that our, uh, um, uh, that our bomb missed because their FTL is charging, so I need to disable this. Um, uh, they're piloting and now I want to focus on shields because then I can uh, damage them with a uh, with a basic laser afterwards. I, I am going to take some damage in this fight unfortunately. Um, okay, very good. And with the basic laser I can now target their weapons. Um, uh, this is going to time out really well for them, yeah. Hopefully no fires. Oh, no fires. Okay, and we are sort of in the clear. Uh, right here, I'm not gonna damage their drones. I don't care about their drones that much. I care about them not getting away. So their piloting is getting repaired as we speak, and I'm gonna target engines now because if this is down, their uh, FTL can't charge either. And uh, with every level that we take it down, they charge slower, so that gives us more time to target piloting afterwards. Yeah, there we go. Very good. So. Uh, uh, because we damaged um, uh, um, engines earlier, I was also able to to hit uh, um, uh, um, to hit them much e much easier. <clears throat> and yeah, now it's just a matter of keeping things down. I think this should be repaired soon. Yeah, there we go. After a while, you just get a feel for it on on, on when these timings work out. <clears throat> They had a lot of health, uh, this, this, um, this ship. Very surprised about that, yeah. See, right here, FTL is delayed, even though the piloting is back up, and that's just because the engines are down. So that's one way to, to really keep your... Uh, um, uh, to, to, uh, that's one way to keep on top of things when, when they want to jump away. Okay, we don't see anything here, so I'm just gonna head back up, uh, see what the rest of the jumps are. Um, at 50 scrap, I definitely want to uh, use that to upgrade my shields. Um, but until then, we're just going to save up. Okay, right here, I want to teleport into uh, the piloting room. 
I know that there that there's one guy in weapons and one guy in shields. At least I'm pretty sure about that. I don't think anyone is on engines yet. But uh, piloting is so far away, like they both have to run through the entire ship, that we're gonna get some some damage on the guy in piloting before they actually can manage to come over right here. Look at this. He's already at uh, uh, what is my uh, at at 74 HP. Uh, uh, just because both mantises have been hitting him, and now it's just a matter of 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 killing him off like that. This is a oh, it's a miss. That's very good. Uh, they hope they don't have any sort of uh, um, med bay clone bay situation going on. Uh, I may need to uh, head this guy over. That that will also speed up the process. Gonna lure him over, and now we're gonna have three mantises fighting him. Uh, fighting the last guy, and yeah, it's just generally a bad time. High scrap reward, we are gonna take one more missile damage. I'll let it hit me first, and then I'm gonna teleport my guys over. One of my guys had uh, 22 HP, and miss uh, missiles do 30 damage um, to crew members. So yeah, that is something to keep in mind. If that would have hit my, uh, my, my guy, he would have died. So, <clears throat> something to be... Uh, to be thinking about when pulling um, uh, crew members back. Okay, almost at 50 scrap, just a little bit short. Doesn't really matter though. I'm just gonna keep on, uh, keep on grinding. Okay, let's investigate the battlefield. Nothing for us. Okay, we need to go to the store. Uh, doesn't really matter. We have uh, the mantis pheromones to sell off. Well, that's a flag one. That's really really good. I think we're gonna get that. So upgrading your weapon system early on the ship is quite good. Um, not ne not because uh, we can use it straight away, because this this system here is actually a weak system, as you can see there in in red, um, and that means that it takes extra scrap to get it operational, like to get it to get it uh, um, to get one level up. So it takes forty scrap for for it to go up to level two. But then I think 20 and then 35 to go up to level uh, 3 and 4. And that, that's, what, uh, um, uh, um, that's what that means, being a weak system. Uh, but have, if you find something like a flak 1 or a burst laser 2, I mean, you generally just buy it. Uh, because I can't use it yet, but my offense is so good with the boarding strategy. And also because we also already found the rock here. The rock. That's funny. Uh, uh, that I can afford, that I can get away with, with getting an, a weapon uh, upgrade early. And that can also be implemented with, uh, with our um, basic laser. So our basic laser is going to be useful once the flak is online. Uh, not going to do anything else. We don't need fuel. Fuel is generally not a problem. If you do boarding strategies, you get a lot of high fuel rewards. Uh, just going to see how we get through the rest of the sector. I think we're going to go here, here. And I'll just make my way up. Um, <coughs> it's very difficult to tell how many jumps we have approximately, but yeah, we'll just have to, uh, uh, you know, rough it out. Let's hail them. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm not using my drone part, so I would like to have 10 fuel. Um, this looks. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then. Exit, I think that might even be a little bit ambitious. So let's see. Uh, this is approximately one, and then this is two, three. Mm. It may or may not be four. If it's not four, then we might be in trouble already. Let's see. One ish. Two-ish. Uh, I, I think I, I think it's four. I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then exit. <coughs> we'll see soon enough. That is really unfortunate. Empty jumps early are the run killers. They're so bad. Okay, this is a really easy ship. Uh, not because of the weapons. The weapons are actually terrifying, especially the the um, the uh, iron weapon in a in a. Um, Asteroid field is, is absolutely terrifying, but 
Uh, they, it's a two crew ship and we should be able to deal with them fairly quickly. That is really unfortunate that they, that they have a rock here. Oh, that is, that, oof. Oh, that makes the whole thing uh, very, very scary. Okay, that's very bad. I think I'm gonna drop my shields when the iron hits. Okay, that's good. Uh, they sent over the rock. I don't like this. Okay, there's a fire going on here, but with my uh, the rock is not going to take damage from from fire, but my mantises are. So I can't realistically go in there now, because then I would just die. So I have to not go in there, but by not going in there, they may damage me with this heavy laser if a thingy is incoming as well, an asteroid. So I think I'm just going to get some crew training here. Maybe go into shields. I think when I go into shields, that should pull this guy off. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I don't think I hear any fires on my ship. They fired in this room. No, no fires here. That's good. <coughs> that was a high scrap reward again, so that's that's really good as well. Oh yeah, by the way, asteroids don't give you any training for shields or, or evasion after the ship is defeated. So that is something to keep in mind as well. So you can't just sit in an asteroid field indefinitely and just hope and pray for, for training. Oh... Okay, another bad event. Oh my goodness, man, these events have been horrendous. Let's see. Yeah, we need to small bomb into into their weapons. I don't want this missile to go off. I, I kind of don't care about the drone as much. Ah, shit, I should have pulled this guy off into, into weapons again. But I didn't. Okay, that's down. This needs repairing as soon as possible. The Mantis is not going to be able to repair the breach uh, that quickly. Um, okay, small bomb into there. Gonna get the basic laser online. Oh, that's bad. Pilot hitting, piloting there is not great. Are there any other fires on the ship? Yes, there are. Oh my goodness, there are fires everywhere. Um, okay, I can s suffocate this fire that way. There's fire in... You can always look at the icons as well. So there's fire in piloting. I mean, we knew that. There's fire here. So in empty rooms, you can't tell. Uh, we also don't have sensors, as you can see. So I can't look at, at my own ship. Um, okay, with that down, that, that, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, so I just took down the uh, the drones. Uh, I still hear fire somewhere on the ship, and I have to figure out where that is. It might just be in one of the empty rooms. It didn't spread to any of the rooms with systems, so I think it might be up here then. No. Let's, let's look at it later. Uh, it's not damaging our, our ship set. Okay, it's, it's in piloting. Uh, it's, oh, it's, it was in the middle. I forgot about that. Yeah, so we have to kill off this. We take another damage of the solar flare. And yeah, nothing we can do here. There's a fire in there again. Let's drag that out. By opening the doors. In the meantime, I should have just been firing uh, my laser, but I didn't. And... I think there's still fires on my ship. Yeah, there are. That means that they're firing here. Fires can only spread through through doors, so they can't spread. Um, uh, let's say from this from this room. If all of this was on fire, they can't spread to here. Like it has to go through the first fire that spreads from this room is is right here in this in this little corner. Uh, so that was that's why I was able to tell that there's fires in here. Or actually, now I think about it, maybe there's fires in there because there's also a door down there. Okay, one more hit to do it. Uh, I'm, I do want to keep my FCL uh, charging uh, because I don't want to get hit by another solar flare, but it looks like I am gonna get hit anyway. There it is. Uh, it's quite unfortunate. Now I have to figure out where the fire is again. There is gonna be fire somewhere. It's not in one of the system rooms. Yep, there we go. And then I'm gonna heal up my guys. 
so these guys are going to be healed up. Okay, you good? Nope, he's not good. Oh, that was a very close. I think I'm just going to leave here. Um, this is quite tricky because I, I do want to stay and finish up the... Uh, the repair job, but I don't want to get hit by another slaughter flare, so I'm just gonna go to the distress beacon and hope that is not a bad one. Um, oh, that's great. Oh, that's really good. Uh, so I think the NG crew gives a higher scrap reward. I'm not entirely certain. In general, NG crews are just great. Um, let's try the rock. Just uh, yeah, I think it's the same. I think it's a low scrap reward regardless. Uh, there were f a few fires in here, so I'm just going to round them out uh, by removing the oxygen. Let's see if there's any other fires going on. Got this mantis. No. Yeah, that's one of the really annoying things of, of having no sensors. Um, but luckily, there's also an audible cue uh, on, on if there's fire, so you can just listen for it. Okay, everything is ready. We have 50 scrap and uh, man, this was just perfection. Very, very good. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get another shield bubble here. Uh, we're not gonna be able to power it just yet. If I need it, then I'm gonna depower oxygen and uh, one of my engines to, to, to get it, or maybe just my engines entirely, um, depending on the ship that we're gonna face. Uh, the next thing is definitely going to be one power bar because one power bar allows me to keep it on in indefinitely. Yeah, let's investigate these intelligent life forms. Um, bring some of the creatures on board to sell us. I, I, I seem to remember it was a bad option. And try to communicate, it may give you an NG, I think. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, one more crew member. Very good. NGs as well. Uh, very good for repairing or taking out fires. You know, that's that's an important job as well. Um, am I going to shuffle them around? Because... Hmm, I would like to have this Mantis freed up for boarding events. And I feel like Engines is too important for for that to be the case. So let's let's swap these around and maybe, maybe something like this. Does Joel have any piloting training? No. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might be a little bit better. Um, the rock we can use for boarding th uh, boarding events if it can go up or down. Uh, you generally want the rock to not move too much because it's so slow. Uh, but that way we are able to, to utilize the most of them. Let's see, NG controlled civilian sector. I like NG controlled, more stores, more, more goodies. Um, there's also a lot of free stuff just floating around in space, which you can sell off later. Civilian sectors usually have a, has a lot of nebulas, um, which can be very useful, but right now they're not that useful because nebulas usually contain uh, auto scouts, um, and so they're unmanned, unmanned drones, um, which are pretty bad because we are relying on boarding strategies, so yeah, not, not the greatest. We see our first store, we don't have anything to sell though, so uh, I'm just going to ignore it for now. Um, like I said, I definitely want this next power bar. Okay, they have they have their FTL charging and oof, this is gonna be a tough ship. FTL is charging. They have a missile weapon and they have a basic laser. The basic laser does nothing um, because they don't have a combat drone and we have one one shield bubble. Um, the missile launcher is quite annoying. Um, I'm gonna try to pull this guy off piloting as soon as possible by just killing him off. Um, and oh shit, I should. Oh, that's that's this may this may cost me that I didn't charge the the small bomb. Okay, they hit my. That's not good. They hit my uh, um, teleporter. As soon as as uh, so, I need to get this guy over here. Um, a Jack should win, or, or uh, our Mantis crew should win this, but they have a, um, uh, they have a, a, uh, clone bay. So 
I need to somehow now make it so that my crew survives this little time um, until they have their cloned uh, things back. So we have a fire here as well to take care of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these guys around the ship because they are, they're quite low. Uh, then I'm going to send these two next boarders over. They can't damage me anymore because we took the weapons down. And one thing that you can do now is you can send uh, these guys into shields. Shields is always a big, the highest priority for, for enemies. So even if I'm, even though I'm damaging their, their clone bay now, they don't care. They just want their, their people to go into shields. And that's one way to... Oh, this is scary. Oh my goodness, this was so scary. Uh, right here, my, my guy almost died, so that's not great. Um, as soon as this guy dies here, um, the guy in, um, in the clone bay is also going to head over. But until then, I have to save my, uh, my dude. And I think I'm just going to small bomb the, the, met the clone bay here. Let's see how I'm, gonna, how I'm gonna do this because I think I need to pull back for a second uh, and heal up my guy. So I'm gonna put them all into one room uh, and then just get them back onto my ship. One thing to be care to be careful about: I just vented these rooms, so I need to make sure that there's no uh, uh, oxygenous rooms here um, because otherwise, yeah, I would just uh, I would just die. So I can heal this guy by running him through the med bay into these two rooms. I mean, it's it's like a good intermediate solution if you don't have any more space in your med bay. Um, let's see, let's get these two back. I'm gonna go into shields again. Oh shit, I didn't save them properly yet. Doesn't really matter. Okay, they're down. I'm just going to keep on punching shields here until uh, until I can send the other boarding party over. Um, they're going to slowly clone clone back up again, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see, now this guy is going to go... Oh, okay. it's going to go into shields. That's, that's nice. Get these guys in there. They're just going to punch down the, the clone bay now. And... There we go, that is it. Not a very clean fight, could definitely have done a little bit differently there and um, maybe uh, um, maybe not had the, our crew members to be on that low health. I could also just use a small bomb, but I do want to save resources. So it's, yeah, it's a bit of a uh, dilemma. If you want to save resources, you, you just don't... Um, uh, you just don't want to uh, um, use bombs uh, on ships that you don't need to use them on. I'm uh, going to save the crew uh, positions now. I think I'm going to keep it like this for now. If I find if I find a slug, for instance, I'm going to replace this NG with, uh, with a slug. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a while before I can actually do that. I think I may have been able to afford a power bar there, which would have been nice. Uh, we have enough fuel, so I don't want to... Uh, pay anything for fuel right now and there's the power bar so we have two shields now again just gonna ignore the store for now in NG sectors there's usually two or even three stores um, so yeah we don't need to rush to go to this store uh, necessarily good I'm gonna go in with my two mantises let's see this guy is almost trained so you only need one more kill to to be trained uh, and this guy needs two more Let's see. Once they're fully trained, once they're like uh, two stars, they're so powerful. It's, it's so sick. And right here again, I'm just gonna send over my, one of my one of my other guys. I'm just gonna keep this one. Uh, just gonna run around the the ship uh, to until until this guy arrives. They have a repair drone. I saw. Um, doesn't really matter, but okay. There we go. And now they're just going to pummel him, uh, all three of them. There we go. Easy peasy. 
Let's go heal them back up and then continue on with our journey. Next thing I want to do is um, upgrade my weapons. <clears throat> uh, just uh, we already um, made an investment with the flag one that we purchased. Um, I just want to uh, get that on get that operational as soon as possible. Uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna fly around looking at see free stuff. That's just great. Uh, don't have to do anything for it. Uh, distress beacons are amazing right now. We have um, uh, three really good crew members for that. Uh, we can spare some fuel, um, and they gave us a map reveal. That's not bad. It's not the greatest. I would rather have uh, gotten some scrap here, but at least we now know where the ship fights are, so we can plan a little bit better on how how we want to traverse the sector. Uh, so I'm just going to start off with with uh, ship fights. Eight civilian ship. They have a med bay and upgraded doors. That this can be quite tricky. Uh, their weapon system is also pretty decent. So I'm gonna have a think on how I'm gonna approach this. I think I want to small bomb the med bay and then teleport into the med bay, but punch down the doors to weapons first. I think that's gonna be the play. Uh, their, their weapons can damage us, possibly, but it's very unlikely because for that to happen, the charge laser has to uh, charge up twice and the heavy laser also has to fire at the same time. Um, so yeah, it's very, very unlikely that that's gonna happen. Gonna send over my guys now. Uh, I'm gonna punch down this door. I'm just gonna punch down this door to, to get myself some space. Um, and something that you maybe maybe saw here, as soon as I walked into the weapons room, um, um, the two mantis that are on the ship came both came to this room. Each room has a certain crew member assigned to it, uh, which is going to fight in that room. And I saw we actually did take some damage, which is quite unfortunate. Um, but that means that. Um, uh, uh, that means that we uh, uh, can just go back to the med bay and to fight the NG and a mantis, which is very beneficial, which is much more beneficial to us because uh, NGs do 50% crew damage, uh, whereas ma mantis do 150% uh, uh, crew damage. So right here is something that, that uh, uh, I usually do when I'm fighting against one NG and one other crew member. It doesn't even matter if it's a Mantis or just a normal normal damage crew member. Uh, as you can see, my, my, my guy is pretty healthy, 62 HP, and the other guy is on 43. So I'm just going to swap them around. I'm going to send them both out of the room. I'm going to send this guy back in first. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's the most left one. Uh, that is highlighted right now, and then gonna send in the other guy, and now they're just gonna gonna swap around, and that way you can manage your health pools a little bit better on on your on your boarding party. And right here is the same thing that I that I uh, um, that I did before. I'm gonna send them into the weapons room uh, just so I can have a three on one. Send these two both out of the room. This mantis in first, then this mantis. So rooms always go always fill up. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Unless the station uh, in, in this room is somewhere else. So as you can see, the station I think is, is on the top right corner. So the first uh, crew member that you would put um, would send in is, is gonna go right here. And then afterwards it's gonna go top left, top right, left, bottom left, bottom right. So that is just something, especially in boarding parties that you, that you can use to your advantage. Okay, attempt to come. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so good. Okay, double reward and we got an iron charger as a reward. I mean, I don't care about the iron charger. It's just that we got a double reward with something that we can sell for a lot of money. Um, I think this, this sells for 25 or 30 even, something like that. So really, really high scrap reward event. Very, very good. I'm uh, gonna repair my doors in the meantime. Um, doors are insanely useful on the ship. Um, 
because you can vent, uh, you can vent out a lot of rooms if there's fires. Um, so yeah, that is a great. Now I'm thinking of going to the store, but it's really clunky now to get to it because I have to take this jump, then this jump, then that jump. So I may just postpone going to a store and just hold on to the iron charger for a bit. And in the meantime, just focus on upgrading upgrading weapons like I mentioned. Uh, we are a little bit short on, on power right now. So I, that is something that I will need to fix soon as well. Uh, I'm going to take this empty jump and then head, m make my way down. Um, uh, okay, I do have this jump as well to, as a safety. So I'm, I'm, I was thinking go one, two, three, four, five, and then go exit if need be, or maybe I can take this jump backwards and then jump here. I, it, it, it just depends on, on how it all works out with the, with the uh, fleet pursuit and stuff. Uh, I don't like this event at all. The fueling platform event, I'm gonna dock with it, but oh, this is bad, we're gonna take damage. Uh, I hate it. Okay, they're going into shields. Well, it's NG, so <laughs> yeah, we're basically gonna get tickled to death. Yeah, that is that is not great. I I I so hate this event. It's like always I, I always have a bad time have, uh, when I when I encounter this event. Next time I'm just gonna gonna not take it. Um, you have a chance there to get fuel, um, which we didn't really need. So maybe it was, maybe it was just bad. Maybe it was just bad to go there in the first place. Okay, let's give, let's get our crew back. So we just took three damage for free, basically. Uh, the only thing that we did get is some crew training. Uh, so this guy is is level one now, and this guy is also level one. So um, that's decent, I guess. But apart from that, yeah, pretty pretty sh pretty bad event. Uh, let's see what the hack goes. The hack goes into weapons. Not a big deal. Uh, the ship can't damage us. Well. It can with a boarding drone. Um, so I'm just gonna kill the boarding drone off first. Uh, I'm gonna send my NG over to, to help with the repair of the breach that is in there. And yeah, they're not gonna lose health here because I, I powered my med bay. Uh, but that does mean that they're gonna send over more boarding drones. I think I'm just gonna play it really, really safe. And just wait for them to, to board again. Um, and just take care of the, the drones first. They have a limited amount of drone parts that they can use. So that is something to keep in mind. Because um, um, this basically means that uh, they can only send over so many, uh, so many of these drones before they just run out. And... Uh, yeah, we just have to wait them out. And also they used one drone part on the hacking as well. So they already have one less than, than they would normally have. I think they have maybe one more. Yeah, there we go, one more. Let's hope it goes in a four. Oh, that's that's not good. That's, that's pretty bad actually. Um, the reason why this is bad is because this is in a, uh, in a hacked room. So, if the oxygen runs out, which it is going to do eventually, then uh, we may get stuck in here. Okay, we didn't. That's that's really good. Okay, and I think that should be uh, the drone, uh, all of the drones taken care of. Let's wait for a bit, but I don't think they sent anything more out. And that means that we are now safe to board. I'm gonna keep, keep these two guys here because I do want to uh, get over there with these guys um, in a bit uh, to help out with the boarding situation. They do have a clone bay. And that's also why I took this approach where it just took a little bit, uh, a little bit more time than I would usually take um, to kill off the drones first. Because the, the clone bay can really make our life miserable. Let's go into shields. Okay. 
I think I'm not gonna kill them off here. And the reason why is I'm just gonna get them low. And then I'm gonna walk around the, the ship. Um, and like I said, different different um, crew members are assigned to different rooms. So I'm pulling the guy of piloting now, he's gonna come over. So it just depends in which room I go, which crew member is gonna fight me. And in the meantime, I can just get my crew ready and uh, put them all into one room and then fight them like so. Get a four and one going. And then the two guys that are low, I'm gonna start pummeling the uh, clone bay with. These guys go into shields. As soon as one regenerates, it's gonna go straight into the shields room because they prioritize that. And if you kill it beforehand, well, that's even easier. Okay, that was a much cleaner fight than the previous one. So yeah, that is usually how you want boarding events to go. Um, yeah, you want to, to really be careful and cognizant about how you want your crew members to take damage, where you want them to take damage, um, and how you're gonna approach the ship in general. And two shields coming in clutch here because they couldn't damage us uh, because of that. Very, very good. I think we're gonna one, two, three, four, and then exit. I think that seems like a reasonable plan. Okay, let's attack the automated ship. I am gonna use the basic laser here uh, to get some hits off on them. Um, I'm not gonna use the flak cannon, it would be slightly better, like in terms of damage per second when it comes to projectiles. But the flat cannon is too inaccurate, so you can miss shots much easier with that. So I just want to make sure that the basic laser fires and it always hits, or at least it, it, it hits the room that I want to target. This is a lethal missile, one damage missile, and a one damage iron weapon. So I just want to keep on firing into, into the weapons to take down uh, um, the iron weapon as well. Uh, just keep the missile launcher down. That's the only priority that I have Okay, I missed twice. So that means that they probably have a lot of power in piloting and um, an Engine so I'm just gonna fire into into the piloting to get that down You could also fire into into engines here, but uh, Yeah, you have to look at how much power they 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 can possibly have They don't they have two empty rooms. So there's no power in there the piloting doesn't require any power and they only have two power into the weapon so the rest of the power that the, the ship has to uh, allocate is in weapons so that is something to 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 think about when fighting these type of, of, of ships i think this may fire before no okay we're lucky and yeah now it's just a matter of of firing into into um, um engines to to get this lowered I think this should be uh, be repaired relatively soon, but I think it's going to be one more hit for sure. I think it's going to be repaired now. There we go. One more hit will do it. And yeah, of course. Why not? One of our guys took a little bit of damage. So let's heal him up. Okay, 17 scrap and a anti-ship fire drone. Very good, more, more things to sell at a store. Not bad, not bad. I really hope that our next sector has a store right in the beginning because we have so much scrap just in our, uh, in our cargo bay. Uh, I'm gonna go one, two, three and exit. I think this should be more than two jumps to, to this beacon. So I think that should be all right. Goodness, there's just free stuff galore, my god. Okay, gonna get some power bars, I think, and also maybe one more uh, one more uh, weapon power. Uh, that way we can power the flag and the basic laser. Uh, we still have our teleporter if, if need be, but now we can actually take care of, of ships um, uh, of ships that have a little bit more shielding. Okay, they have a med bay. That is also something we can now take care of with it with this setup um, So yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did previously gonna board in somewhere 
they haven't they have a boarding drone that's that's pretty bad um i'm just gonna go run around the the ship because the boarding drone is actually quite slow so i can just run around a little bit and get some cheeky hits off on on uh enemies uh, uh while well, the boarding drone is just walking to me uh we took care of the uh med bay which is good and now i'm gonna try to uh, take care of of these guys i'm gonna send my other two guys back over to to help out with the boarding event and right there we took care of one of the guys oh there's a fire in there that's even better gonna go into shields now and gonna fight for one it's not great that I have to board with an NG, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's not that bad. That looks good. Yeah, very good. Killed them off right there. Nice, nice. NG doesn't need healing. Okay, very good. So one thing that we should probably do relatively soon is get some training going on our on our crew members and i'm not talking about fighting uh training because as you can see they're they're pretty well trained on that but more uh piloting and engines um maybe also shielding uh because that's just going to help us out in the long run um one thing that the mantis uh cruiser struggles to do is um to just stay alive while while you start boarding and stuff uh, okay not a big deal send over these two guys um, so the more defense you have the better it is for you for your run um, they're gonna board me well then I'm gonna board them so tit for tat gonna board shields they're gonna come over it's gonna be one mantis and one ng and in the meantime I will destroy their medbay and their weapons apparently, and not their mapping. Um, it doesn't matter. Like the as soon as they get to a certain health percentage, they're gonna go back. But I can just fire into into the med bay again, and uh, they're so low now that I can just kill them off. One guy is trained, and we get wow, we get a Zoltan. That is interesting. Okay, I, I don't think I've ever gotten a Zoltan in a non-Zoltan sector. That's, that's really neat though, because we can um, put him on shields. And now we, the Zoltans provide one extra power bar, so that is going to help us out with our power situation. Um, the Rock needs some more training. Okay, very good. <clears throat> very very good indeed yeah you can stay there uh yeah so zoltan also really good for blue options um so we have four really good crew members for for blue options um on top of having crew teleporter which uh, can also give us some blue options so yeah really really nice hopefully we get that guy trained as soon as possible uh, so our offense is looking amazing right now. We have uh, the ability to deal with two shield ships, uh, which is going to be the next the next big thing. Uh, I am going to trade this. I don't need my drone parts right now, and I would like to have a little bit more fuel. Um, it's not necessary to have this much fuel, but it's just I don't use my drone parts. That's the main one. That's the main thing. Uh, so pirate controlled here is actually interesting because we could get more crew. Um, in a pirate sector, you. Um, especially boarding events can uh, net you a lot of crew uh, um, because there's loads of slavers and stuff like that in this sector. Like I said, I would like to find stores, so I'm gonna go NG Homeworlds. Um, stores are really important because we have so much junk in our cargo uh, that we really. Oh my goodness, ah, that's a terrible store. No, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna waste a jump. So you can go here, but there's no other jump that it connects to. So you have to go here and then go back to this empty beacon. I'm not gonna do that. There's two or three stores in a NG 
uh, in an energy sector. So there's going to be more. I just have to be patient. Okay, let's aid the civilian ship. Very scary weapon setup. Uh, they do have a clone bay as well. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to pull these guys off. I really hope I can get this... Um, get this volley off into the sh into weapons yeah that's good that's really really good that's amazing um so yeah they're repairing their sh their their uh, shields right now they iron bombed our or iron stunned our uh, shields not a big deal i'm uh, just gonna send over my uh, the rest of my guys now to deal with their their remaining crew and now that they're starting to regenerate, I'm going to pummel that clone bay. Like I said, they don't care about the clone bay as long as we have people in shields. It's a weapons hit, doesn't matter either. As soon as this goes down, I'm going to send my guys over again and get a 4-in-1 situation going. Perfect fight. Very, very good. Attempt to contact them. They ran away. Not a big deal. Uh, we got so much scrap in this in these past uh, few events, so definitely cannot complain about uh, uh, not getting a double reward there. Let's see. Get all of these guys back. I still haven't saved the crew the the, um, um, the crew position, so let's do that right now. There's another store. There we go. I think I'm gonna go one. Uh, two more jumps before I go to the store, so I have a little bit more scrap to, to spend. Um, uh, let's go a bit. Man, this run is looking really, really good. Okay, they have a crew teleport, so they are going to board me. I'm going to wait for them to board me, and then I'm going to board myself. Where are they at? They are over here, trying to get into my... Uh, engines. I'm just gonna let them in and pummel them. I'm gonna fire my flag and then my my laser to get their med bay down. Get my crew back in position and hopefully kill them before the oh, it's even before the missile fires. Holy moly! Very nice. If I would not have waited, so. The alternative here is to uh, uh, just board straight away and have their uh, their boarding crew pulled into uh, uh, into fighting your crew, but that would have um, that would have been a slower kill, which would then have made this this very big missile fire. So just by waiting a second there and assessing like okay they're gonna board me, let's. Let's try to be efficient about our time here. We were able to save like three, maybe four health. Just just by waiting. Very, very powerful. Uh, if, if, uh, if you think about it. That's so much. Like three or four health. That's, that's at least, at, at least uh, um, six or eight scrap. Uh, six or eight scrap. Uh, because of repairs. Okay, yes, let's uh, let's have our NG uh, heal the vessel. I think this is the NG homeworld event or something like that. I, I, can't, I can't remember. I thought you got a quest marker off this, but apparently not. We have quite a bit of scrap to spend here. Um, that's really, really nice. Okay, not a big fan of these, of these systems or the crew or... Uh, these weapons necessarily um, But we can sell off a lot of our junk uh, We're not gonna um, We're not gonna save any of these. Maybe the defense too would be interesting here There's no um, Drone control so defense 2 is interesting because you can It can be uh, uh, Quite useful because it can block uh, lasers as well as missiles I would rather have a defense one because I would just like to not get hit by missiles and then just upgrade my shields and engines to not get hit by by uh, lasers. So I'm just going to sell this off. 35 scrap is amazing in, or this early on. Um, I'm going to go mind control. 
Uh, I really, really like Mind Control. I think it's such a versatile system. And it's also going to help us with boarding events and stuff like that to get a uh, better starting uh, fight. Um, I don't want to sell off any of these yet. I think the small bomb still has value as well. Uh, so do the flag one and the basic laser. The basic laser could maybe be replaced by the heavy laser, but it's such an incremental upgrade that I would rather get something bigger like another flag or maybe a burst laser two or burst laser one. Um, hacking here would be really good as well, but I think I would rather go cloaking um, later. Um, yeah, hacking and boarding, they do go sort of well together, but I think I think cloaking is just better to have a better defense. Uh, we're gonna repair a little bit here. Get back up to 23 hull. And the rest I'm just gonna put into systems. One system that I do want to upgrade is my crew teleporter to get the cooldown down. Let's do that, get some power going in there. And yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I would like to get a um, uh, backup battery uh, from another store pretty soon. Uh, backup battery can help me to uh, run my teleporter and, and things like that. So um, yeah, it's just it just makes life easier. Okay, pretty easy fight: an NG and a, a low health um, uh, Zoltan. The Zoltan is going to explode, so that is something you need to think about um, so it's going to do 15 15 damage to crew in the room to enemy crew in the room um, but yeah if you if you're above that then it's no problem at all they just die super quickly because they only have 70 health instead of the usual 100 for rocks it's actually 150 good stuff good stuff distress beacons like i said very very good for us right now we have lots and lots of crew for, for blue options. Or it can just be a trap. So yeah, that also happens. Mind control got, got hacked, that is not great. One of our mats got, got mind controlled. Hmm. Yeah, that is not great. Hmm. I do want to get this missile down as soon as possible. Let's see how I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna go in here. Fire in there. Our shields got hit. That is not a big deal. Gonna try to hit weapons here, I think. Because I want this missile to go down. Yes. Okay. I can fire into... Uh, oh, God. I saw that the, one of them went into weapons. I, I don't really want them to repair it, so I'm just gonna... Uh, uh, send my guys in there. Um, I do want these guys to go over here now. Oh shit! There may have been uh, been a fire started there. Let's see. Uh, uh, someone on my control of this guy. Not great. Not a big deal though. Um, so. They killed one of their one of our uh, one of the enemies, so I'm gonna try to get the clone bay down now, uh, so that they can't regenerate. And there we have it. Uh, so right here, this event, I never give them scrap. I never never give them anything. I think if you give them forty scrap, two missiles, and two fuel, I, I think you get ng midbot dispersal, which is something that um, it can help. So, so what it does is, if you have a med bay active on your ship, your your crewmates will will uh, uh, receive some form of healing, all everywhere on your ship, but it sells for way less than forty scrap. So yeah, there's no point in in helping them out here. Gonna get my guys back over and heal them back up. Uh, some of my other crew members are also a little bit damaged, so I'm just gonna heal them quickly like that. And you are damaged as well. So let's heal you back up as well. Everyone back to their positions. 
I'm so glad we invested in the flag early on. Um, I think that's such a powerful, um, powerful weapon to have, and it made our, our early game a little bit more difficult. But yeah, as soon as you get through that, it's just gonna be so good. Um, I'm thinking of going going a, a few power bars here. It's not really needed. It's just yeah, we can. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to power bars here, so we we can have everything active. Um, we don't have to worry about swapping power around. Uh, we can always have crew teleporter two uh, active. Uh, so here you always side with the fugitive and fight the energy ship. Uh, it gives you the the advantage of um, possibly getting a mantis crew member, uh, especially for us, really useful because then we have another mantis for boarding situations, and um, then you get to fight an energy ship after that. Uh, the other option is that it's a trap and the, you take a little bit of hull damage uh, uh, and you fight a, an NG ship with, <laughs> with a Mantis crewmate. So yeah, and there we go. We have another Mantis. Very, very good. So the, I'm just gonna make him stand there. They do have NG Medbot Dispersal on their team, on their, on their ship. So that is something that I have to be, I have to think about when I board them, but I'm just going to board them in there and you can see the little pluses here that they're healing. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to fire through that. Okay. As soon as the med bay goes down, they don't get healing anymore. And it's just a very, very easy ship fight. NGs, they, they tend to not do damage at all. Uh, okay. Another iron charger. Very nice. Um, so yeah, it's just an easy ship fight after that. Um, because we got the Mantis, we know that the NG ship is going to have NGs. If we took damage, then we know that the, sh that the NG ship is going to have Mantises on board because it's a trap. So that is something just to think about as well, especially in boarding situations. Uh, let's go up here and then work our way down to, uh, to the exit. Yeah, sure, let's, let's accept the quest marker. Um, we can go one, two, three, because I think this is a, a, a reactor upgrade, if I remember correctly, or a engine upgrade. Uh, regardless, it's just free scrap, so... Oh, it's store, no. And this backup battery. Oh, we do have to charge. <gasps> oh, yeah. Very nice, okay, perfect. I'm very happy about that. Uh, this does mean that the next few upgrades are just going to be ship upgrades uh, rather than energy uh, because we just got uh, two uh, power bars that we can spend on something. Uh, so in this event you can lose a crew, I know that. I'm just going to try. Um, so we have a lot of crews so losing one crew member is not that big a deal. Uh, it's not great but yeah, it's, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, I think, yeah, this is more than one jump. So I'm going to go distress here and then go down to the exit. Uh, yeah, let's search for the ship. Perfect. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, it, it was one more. Let's go to the exit. Intervene and defend the outpost. Um, so here's something that we can do because we have crew teleport to level two. Uh, we can actually board this this automated ship. Make sure you have two power in here as well. I've made many t I've made mistakes many times where I just put one power in there, teleport it over, and absolutely fucked. So the downside of these ships are that they uh, don't contain oxygen. But because we have crew teleport to level 2, the oxygen damage is not... Uh, uh, doesn't kill us uh, uh, quickly enough before we can teleport back. So right now our teleporters up, they still have 10 health. We teleport back and can heal up our crew. 
So that is something for you to, to, to know as well. That's also one of the reasons why I upgraded my, my, my crew teleport is, is to do this type of stuff. Um, and right now we don't have two shields to deal with, but just one. And that is going to make our life a lot easier. And that was a horribly timed, like absolutely horribly timed um, uh, volley. It's going to piloting and then into weapons. I mean, they can't damage us, but it's just good practice. So these are full, these are com fully trained uh, mantises right now. They're very, very strong. Um, but on this ship, yeah, we don't need to, to spend any more... Um, uh, um, uh, we just spend a little bit of time to, to get some flak action going. Uh, we don't need to, to uh, teleport over again. Um, uh, it's just, uh, it's not worth it. It's, I, I just did it to show off that you can do it. Um, and, and yeah, but if you, if you can damage the ship, why would you go through the trouble? Very good, there we go. 13 and 21 scrap, double reward, very nice. Next sector, Zoltan Homeworld looks very, very tempting. I and mean, Zoltan Controlled is eh, Zoltan Homeworld is eh, because I have to deal with Zoltan Shields all the time. But there is the option in the Zoltan Homeworlds to encounter a um, an event that is going to give us the Zoltan Shield, and that's going to that's going to boost our defense quite significantly. So the downside of, of Zoltan, sh uh, Zoltan ships is that they um, have the Zoltan shield and we can't teleport through that. Uh, there is an augment called uh, um, Zoltan shield bypass, uh, with which you do, uh, with which you are able to to uh, bypass the Zoltan shield. Um, but yeah, it's generally not, not worth it to to actually go with that. Uh, two crew ship. Uh, so I'm just gonna gonna get my my very very well trained mantises in there uh, to take care of them. Uh, we are gonna take some damage here, unfortunately, of the uh, of the um, of the weapon system. It's an Artemis laser uh, of an Artemis missile. Uh, that's not great. Well, that's good. So again, we have a lot of junk to sell at the store. Um, so. Yeah, I would like to find a store at this point. Wait, oh, I, th I thought we still had the other uh, thing, the um, charge iron. Well, in this case, we don't need to find a store just yet. Mm -hmm. So the exit beacon is quite far to the left, which means that, we're, that this sector is not going to be that great. I'm just going to get as many jumps in as possible. Uh, um, by looking at as many jumps as possible. These jumps are all dead to me. Uh, I, I kind of assumed that it wouldn't wouldn't go down. Uh, so these are the last jumps that we can take. So I'm going to go up, uh, down, down here, and then up and over. Participate in their study, and we have some people on board. Where are you? In weapons. Okay, not that big a deal. And the rest of you are in here. I don't really care about these borders. I can just board myself, but man, this is a scary ship. I just saw that now. Holy moly. Oof. That's really scary. Just gonna board in here. Uh, uh, I can probably take care of them pretty easily. Um, uh, I used my teleport, to, or my, my mind control there to take care of their, of their guys. Uh, these weapons are just so scary. So, so scary. Um, Flak 1, very, very good weapon. I mean, we have it ourselves. Burst Laser 2, generally considered to be the best weapon in the game. Very, very, very powerful. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Horrible. Doors going down is not great. Uh, I'll, I'll just try to deal with the uh, with the borders uh, as soon as they've been taken care of then uh, uh, we should be good where are they right now in a teleporter why not ow 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 
Okay. My goodness, that, that was scary. That was really scary. Double reward? Double reward and a good one as well. Holy moly, that was such a good... That was so good. Okay. Get these guys back when my teleporter is repaired. Very, very good rewards. My goodness. Yeah, getting the anti-drone. Um, very good to, to help with. Uh, or to, to, to sell at the store. Very happy about that. Okay, you took damage. Everyone took damage, I feel like. Gonna get all of you in there. You are out. You can get in. The only one that didn't take damage was the, uh, was the Zoltan here. Um, good stuff. Get everyone back. In their positions. Power everything again. We're gonna go down here and up. I think so. Why not? I I so hope for the Zoltan Homeworld event. That would be so nice. This is not it. Scary up weapon system again. Burst laser two and heavy laser uh, weapons that time are decently well. Not great, but pretty all right uh that's bad our zoltan is gonna get taken out by a mantis pretty quickly so i'm just gonna send him out of the room uh, for a second swap the ng out to go in first so that he can tank the hits um and yeah i'm, not, I'm now just gonna take care of their um of their med bay very good I probably should have swapped these around at some point um, uh, because the NG was fighting uh, uh, my dude there, my uh, uh, my uh, my my mantis there the entire time, and it's just better if you swap them around to save some some to to manage your health uh, health points a bit a little bit better. Okay, you can go there. You guys took some damage. You took some damage. Okay. Good stuff. Get everyone back in position. Good, good, good. Uh, gonna go down here just to see what these bottom two jumps are. If there are stores there, I know that. If there are distress beacons, I know that. Until you... Oh! Oh, until you're able to jump away from hostile space stations, your sensors will be disabled. Oh, wow, my sensors, which I don't have. That is so unfortunate. Um, just gonna get uh, uh, one guy mind controlled. Um, I just deal with them a little bit quicker that way. I didn't want my rock to, to, to take uh, uh, too much damage here. So, and these two guys are fully trained, so right when he's about to die, I'm gonna pull them out so that my untrained mantis can actually get the kill and get some training. Uh, get the med bay going. Yeah, boarding like that, and boarding events like that, are just a time waste. Like they're super easy to deal with, especially in this stage of the game. Um, so there is a distress here, which I can't go to because none of these jumps connect up. But at least I know. Um, but yeah, they're they're generally just just bad. Oh, Sultan Homeworld event. Fuck yeah. Uh, so in this, and anytime you see these three options, you always hear them out. And it will give you a quest marker, which I'm so gonna go- Oh, that- Nah, they're not serious. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that- that- that's so bad. That's such bad luck. So we can't go to this quest marker because, like I just said, none of these connect up. So I have to ignore it. Oh, that- that really hurts. That really stings. Oof. 
Yeah, I don't like that. Ah, oh, that feels horrible. Do not like that at all. Zoltan Shield Bypass, 55 scrap. Very, very expensive for very little that it does. Uh, just gonna sell off the, um, these things. They don't fit in with what we have right now. Uh, I don't see any weapons that I would like to, to buy. I could buy sensors. Is it really that important? No, not really. I mean, it helps with to see what, what we have on our ship. But if you just, uh, um, if you just think about what, um, uh, 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 how to how to uh, walk around with your crew and just look at the symbols up here. You should be able to do without sensors. Uh, I'm gonna repair a little bit though, and gonna get two shields. I'm not gonna get a power bar because we have two free power bars right here. I'm actually gonna toggle them around like that, so that now if you want to use the teleporter, we just power our. Um, our uh, power, our, what's it called, our backup battery. Um, and then just gonna get one more point into engines, I think. And this this really, our, our defense is so good right now. I'm not gonna dive this sector. Uh, we still have no real crew training uh, going on. So I can't, I can't dive just yet. So right now we, we can't teleport. Like if I if I press tel uh, the teleport button, we can't. As soon as we are as soon as we get through the shields, I can board them. This is a two Zoltan uh, ship. Um, so when they explode, like I said, thirty dam uh, fifteen damage each. Uh, so quite quite scary, quite powerful. Um, uh, but yeah, some because they have such low health, it's not. That big a deal usually. Okay. Let's get back out there. I think it's oh that's really unfortunate. I took a bad path. I didn't I didn't think about that. So I, I didn't I didn't take into account that I this one doesn't connect down. Uh, so I can't go up here then here because the exit beacon would be overtaken. So I'm missing out on one jump here. Wow, this was just a horrible sector. Absolutely horrible. Oxygen system for 20? No, I don't think so. Eh? I think that the normal price is 25. If I remember correctly. So 20. What kind of discount is that? 25. Pfft, hell no. Then I'd rather buy the, the, the 25 when I actually need it in a, in a slug sector or something like that. So yeah, this sector was just horrendous. This Oh, I'm so bummed out about this. You have no idea. Like we could get a fully trained uh, um, uh, uh, Zoltan from that or like I said, Zoltan Shields, which is just immensely powerful. Just, oh, such a shame. Okay, we only have one option there, the rebel control sector. Not much to say. Uh, just get straight in. Uh, we see a store straight off the bat, so I'm thinking about ignoring these nebula locations because they usually controlled uh, uh, the unmanned scouts, which are pretty bad for our, for our uh, weapon system right here. And yeah, then we run into another one, uh, another unmanned scout. The good news is we have a lot of missiles that we can spend on this, and that is also what I'm going to do. Let's see how I want to play this. So, I do not want to teleport over here, because this missile, if it hits my... Um, if it hits my, my teleporter and my, my guys are over there, I'm fucked. So I just don't want to I just don't want to teleport over in this case. I want to take down their missile or their missile launcher, which I didn't do, that's really unfortunate. It's a fire in the O2 room, that is also not great. Oh man. Oh this really hurts. And they have cloaking. And it's just terrible. There's more fire? Where is the fire? Oh, here. 
Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Please hit. Thank you. So right now I could I could send the, my guys over. I still no. I'm not going to do that because they have cloaking. Uh, if no, I'm so glad I didn't. Um, if I teleport over and uh, they cloak, I can't teleport them back. I'm losing my crew. So yeah, also also that is out of the question. Oh no, their their missile is back up. No, I'm gonna. Th I'm thinking of jumping away here. Um, our weapon system is just so shy right now. Especially against these type of ships. I, th I think I'm just going to jump. Ah, man, this was such a difficult ship. Three shields on top of the missile. On top of cloaking. Oof. Horrible. I think we're just going to take more damage than, than we should in this fight. Um, and yeah, any sort of damage that, you, that we can avoid here. Uh, I think it's just better. It's just more beneficial. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go down here and work my way back up. Uh, um, maybe we find another store up there. This is a lot more manageable uh, because we're in an asteroid field. Uh, we don't need to um, use a small bomb to get through the three shields. Uh, we have three shields ourselves, so that's this is gonna give us some really, really nice training actually. So maybe I'll just disable the ship to such an extent that uh, uh, Oh, or I don't. Oh, and then my shields get hit. That's, yeah, that's an option as well. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, I think I'm just going to disable the ship here um, by attacking weapons. I don't care about that. Um, like I said before, with uh, drones, they also have a limited amount of missiles that they can use. So, uh, oh, that's bad. Uh, okay, this is not gonna hit. Okay, them hitting uh, our thingy here is not that important. I'm just gonna send my guys around to, to deal with uh, the, uh, the systems being damaged. Okay, weapons down, not great, not that terrible. This really is good training for our for our crew. Like these two are already fully trained. So I only want to train my my shields guy now. Maybe that's enough actually to just stay at this uh Stay like this. Uh, where the hits? Empty room. Hopefully no fire. Yeah, no fire. No fire, no problem. Oh. A miss. I don't want to take this guy off here to heal him um, because I want him to get some training. Uh, Ouchie, ouchie. More O2 hits. Okay, that's the shield training done. I think we're almost at the last uh, at the last bomb that they can use. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, I do need three shields. Thank you. Uh oh, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, yeah. This is getting too spicy for me. I'm just gonna fire. I'm just gonna get rid of them now. Uh, our shields are not regenerating fast enough uh, because I, I pulled up my, my shields guy. Uh, that was a mistake. 
Yeah, very bad. Just want to take down the piloting, make sure that, that all of my hits actually hit. Um, repair the med bay in the meantime. And then we can kill them off. <laughs> yeah, bad fight. Very bad fight. Very sloppy. I think it's good that we went for some training, um, but I could have just healed my uh, my uh, guy up afterwards, and that way I would never have issues with shields going down or anything like that. So yeah, just um, not a great fight. Not very happy about that at all. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, you live and you learn. We have everything back up. Uh, still do not want to go to this fight, um, our fighting situation against it didn't change at all. Um, I'm gonna attack before he can attack. Uh, we are getting mind controlled and one of the nice things about having mind control is that you can mind control, uh, mind control the, the guy they mind controlled, so that's nice. Not a great ship for us for fighting. I'm wondering actually how we should approach this um, because they have a. They can damage us, possibly. Uh, only with this. Uh, when this laser uh, hits and the halberd beam goes off. So, not very likely to get hit very, very often. And I think initially I just want to have the small bomb available to me um, to deal with this. Uh, with the uh, mind control. Uh, mind control is really bad if if your if your um, guys get mind controlled on the enemy ship. Um, so I do want to take care of mind control, then teleport into that room. Uh, oh, that's bad as well. I'm going to take some damage here, and then teleport into their room. Ah, very good, very good, very good. Um, backup battery. Teleport into this room. We can't mind control uh, uh, currently. Because we just counter mind controlled. Uh, what I do want to do is get everything ready for my next boarding party. And I'm gonna take out their cloning, uh, their clone bay, teleport into, uh... boy they have a lot of crew, oh my goodness they have a lot of crew, am I gonna make this? Yes I am because I'm gonna mind control one of their guys and just let them fight it out, and these, I ca these guys I can, I can just swap out whenever I need to, This is not easy. It's not easy at all. Maybe I'm just gonna walk around here and let these guys fight them. Yeah, I think that was really good. Walking through this room makes these two hit the mantises that are following these two. Uh, oh, see, this is this is what I was talking about with these uh, with the two things. Um, Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna do the same thing to them again. Oh my goodness. They got so fucked. Yeah, we did take some damage here. Uh, it wasn't too much, I think it was two, uh, two, two damage maybe. Um, uh, but yeah, it is what it is. I knew, I knew it was a possibility. Maybe I should have fired into weapons at some point. I think that, that would have been better. But I was too preoccupied with the amount of, of people that they had on, on their ship. Um, to focus on uh, on the other stuff that was going on. Okay, let's get them healed back up. I may just go med bay level two soon uh, because, well, I just want uh, um, uh, what's it called? I just want to heal them up uh, quicker. 
after every fight uh, because I'm lazy. And yeah, we do want to have this this store next. Uh, we have quite a bit of scrap to afford a good weapon if we see one. Right here again, we're waiting for them to teleport. As soon as they do, that's my that's my time to go. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna leave him here and get these guys in here. Mind control one of them and let them juke it out amongst themselves. They have a scary weapon system, so I just don't, I want to disable it. Uh, I would rather have wanted to disable this guy, but yeah, it is what it is. Our mind control is almost over, at which point we're gonna go in. Ah, oh, one damage. Unfortunate, but yeah, not that big a deal. Um, they just teleported, so we're gonna teleport in here. Get these guys into shields, and just do the same thing that we that we usually do. One party in shields, one party to destroy the clone bay, and then just take care of them like that. Take no prisoners! What do we have? Kill the crew of 20 ships by, the, by sector 6. Very good. Very nice. Kill 5 enemy crew in a fight without taking damage, uh, without taking hold damage or losing a crew. Um, so in the previous fight we did take some hold damage, that we, that's why we didn't get that. Um, yeah, I mean, that should be possible for us, right? If you find something like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, cloaking? At this store? Maybe. That's a definite maybe. Okay, these are all absolutely terrible. Just gonna get some repairs go in and upgrade my weapons once with a power bar now I can have all of my um, all of my system powered like that um, now I can also have the small bomb uh, powered whenever I need it um, I think I'm just gonna save up some some scrap I don't need to I don't need to spend it here if I find another sword that's gonna be way more useful the the scrap there uh, yet, let's investigate, try to communicate peacefully. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Okay, we have too much crew, uh, so we have to get rid of one, and that means that it's going out the airlock. Um, yeah, and I think uh, it's gonna be you, Alison. Uh, it's nice that you want to join, but. Uh, Space is uh, better suited for you. So yeah, it's just the other the other guy, the other NG was already trained in um, in repairing. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use him for mainly. So yeah, that's why I kept uh, uh, this NG. And the other NG is my pilot. So also quite 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 important to me. Let's go to the next sector. Nothing, another store. I may just go one, two, three. This might be a dive actually. Uh, my pilot and my uh, engines guy, my pilot and my engines guy is are fully trained. Um, so I can dive. So I should just probably prioritize getting scrap. Let's attempt to download. Maybe I should have just taken the scrap here. Mm. Not sure. The ship can damage us, uh, but I think if I disable one of their shield bubbles, hmm. tricky. If 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 this goes south, or do I just use a small bomb here? Again, same conundrum as I had previously. If they hit my, my teleport, I'm doomed. Like, these two mantises are dead. And then my whole boarding strategy is going to be impacted by that. So, I, I think I'm just going to take my chances and, and small bomb them. Uh, if I hit, uh, um, if I hit uh, uh, weapons here once, then it's going to be alright. Yeah. Okay. 
so they didn't hit after all, but they did. Or they did. Um, uh, they hit the the engines. Uh, the pilot, the pilot thing. It's gonna go into shields here. See if that can be taken down. It can. And now we're gonna fire into piloting. Unfortunately, we missed. Uh, so right here I could teleport, for instance. Uh, now we're quite safe. Not entirely, but but quite safe to to do this. Um, I do want to get this down. Well, well even with small bombs, uh, we can't. Okay. So right, this 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 is gonna make our life a lot easier. Uh, so now our flak flak cannon always always hits, and that now we can actually deal a lot more damage. As soon as this comes back up, I'm just gonna small bomb. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna uh, get their shields down. Our shields guy is also fully trained now. That's really nice. And now it's just a matter of firing into weapons and piloting. Good stuff. So one guy took a little bit of a beating by our pilot. Let's go store. Uh, let's hope there's something useful. I really want a weapon. Uh, a good weapon, preferably. Well, there's no weapon. Um, there is cloaking, but we can't get it. Drone control? Mm, nope. It seems like a wasted jump. So drone control would be nice, um, but yeah, we don't currently have... Uh, um, we, we would like to get the, the defense drone one. But we, yeah, we just don't have the uh, the drones available for that. Uh, that's not great. So um, teleporter being hacked is not great because they um, uh, they can uh, uh, get our crew off their ship by hacking the teleporter in the future. Um, and they also have an iron intruder bomb and or an iron intruder drone and uh, hacking and a drone here. So they're not going to send over many more iron intruder drones. That's the only good thing uh, about this. Oh shit, they went into shields. I didn't even see that. But it's really bad. But it's really bad. Oh no. Oh, this needs to hit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this might be the death of us. Oh god, I didn't see that. No! Oh, this might be the death of us. I'm gonna take a second here to, uh, to see how I'm gonna do this. This for sure. Need to save these. This is gonna be disabled for a while. Gonna get this guy to help out with, with piloting. God, they also have such a strong weapon system. I'm uh, gonna get this guy over onto. Thing. No, these guys can help out here. Actually, just this guy, because there's a breach in here as well. So let's try it like this. Okay, shields. Ah, ah, because we put our Zoltan in the shields room, we were actually able to, uh, um, to give shields an extra power which means that we now have one shield bubble to go off. And that means that I can go help this guy out with repairs and we should be good. Uh, so oxygen is down currently. I need, I need the 
this guy to be, I need this guy to be in shields, but I, I, I need to pull him off, I think. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna pull him off. If he dies, he dies. That's, that's basically the, the, the strategy that I'm adopting here. Spawn bomb needs to go into weapons. There's gonna be another boarding drone coming soon. Okay, okay, we're still alive, we're still alive. There's a fire in our teleporter still, which is not great. But I don't think we can we can do anything about that just now, just yet. No, you need to go up there. No, 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 you need to stay there. I'm gonna pull one guy uh, over to shielding. I think we should be able to, to, to safely uh, uh, shield him going then. That is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I can take care of this with um, these two guys. I want to save my my oh, thingy here. I'm gonna pull all of my guys out of the room. I don't care about my 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 thing going down. My um. Oh, oxygen is on fire, that's not good. Oh, this is on fire as well. Just want to take care of this thing. Now this. Well, I'm not going to be able to take care of the engines anymore. So I'm just going to vent. I'm going to go into oxygen. I'm going to, because there's fires going on there. What a nightmare. Hmm, really difficult. So we still have a drone to deal with, right? Yeah, we have still have a drone to deal with. So I think small bombing weapons here is still the best way to go. Uh, just to prevent them from dealing damage. Oxygen can get healed up pretty quickly. I want this to re to be repaired pretty soon. This guy can come down here again. Is there fires in here? No. Teleporter is still on fire. Yeah, that's that's good. Now I can prop plop these guys in there, small bomb weapons again, I just want to take care of the fire now, okay that's good, that's sorted, okay slowly, slowly but surely, I'm gonna lose a lot of uh, missiles here but at least we're still alive, um, Gonna send these guys out of the room, these guys into the room, that way they punch down the door pretty quickly. Okay. Gonna send some of my guys off to heal in the med bay. I'm really hoping of, of firing another small bomb in here to take down this, um, this weapon system. This is repaired now. Now I can repair this. Okay, we're still alive. Very good. I'm gonna keep you guys over here. Okay, still alive. Still alive. Mm -hmm. Fire into shields here. Get one of their shield bubbles down. I'm gonna wait for the next hack to finish. Um, I'm gonna fire into their hacking system because I now want to use my teleporter to, to, to take care of their crew. Fire in, go in here. Mind control one of them. This guy is gonna die pretty quickly. And gonna fire into weapons now normally and I think we are good this is 
So just gonna have one more fire into into the clone bay. Boah, what an event! Please give me something. Oh yeah, double reward at least. Man, I gotta recover from that. Holy shit, that was that was really scary. So one of the issues there was that I didn't recognize that the Iron Intruder drone was in our shield room and that as soon as it goes off, it would take down the shield bubbles. And they had a really, really fast firing weapon system with the heavy laser one, the flag, flag one. And on top of that, the uh, uh, beam drone two, which also fires very, very quickly. And so all in all, a very, very scary situation. Um, pulled it back by putting the Zoltan into the shield room to get this extra shield bubble back due to the overcharge effect of the of the Zoltan. My goodness, that was that was scary. That was not easy at all. But uh, we managed to save like ten hull. Um, for the for the rest of the sector we are gonna dive unfortunately uh, so I think we need to upgrade our ship pretty soon uh, to be able to deal with with uh, to be able to deal with diving much better uh, so let's get one more engine power uh, two more power bars now we're able to power everything using our backup battery our weapon system is absolutely atrocious right now um, we're so far behind on, on, on weapons it's not even funny uh, we don't need to hire anyone Thank you. One more jump. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna reject his offer. So here you can you can get a human crewmate um, with if you accept this proposal and prepare to fight. Or he's an infiltrator and he does some hull damage with. Um, uh, he does some hull damage and then does, uh, uh, then you still have to fight the ship. So I'm going to reject this offer. Oh. <laughs> this is pretty sick. I don't think I've done this very often. <laughs> My god. I'm going to accept his offer here because I want the secret cache of scrap Jesus this is pretty sick oh you mother fudger ah uh, that's just oh I knew it fucking rebels man you just don't trust rebels. Go to mind control. Uh, um, pull off this guy. Oh yeah, yeah. There's gonna be more. Where, where are they? Where are these mother fridges? Bay is down, that's pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna fire up my med bay because I want my guys to be healthy. Uh, yeah, one damage, not that big a deal. <sighs> terrible events, absolutely terrible, or just terrible decision making. That, that may also be the case. Okay, teleport over. Let's show these rebels, rebels scum. What's up? Kill two guys in the med bay. And hopefully get some dodges in on this laser. Yep, we did. No problem. Okay, at least, uh, at least a decent amount of scrap. Pfft, my goodness, man. These, these rebels are just... Oof. Terrible coup. Let's see. 
Good stuff. We got some some scrap. We may die uh, in this dive. Um, I'm gonna spend the rest of my scrap just so I have the highest possibility of, of getting through it. Uh, gonna get one more engine power. Um, level two there, and then one more power bar as well. Our offense is so, so, so far behind. It's really so bad. But uh, yeah, what, what can you do? I think I'm just gonna deal with these borders. Um, I, I don't wanna pull this guy off. Yeah, I was, I was afraid of that. No, 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 you, you stay there. I'm just gonna fire small bombs into. Um, oh, that went into weapons. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that I hit one of these volleys fully. I highly doubt that that's ever gonna happen, but uh, I think it's the best way for me to get through this event. One damage to shields, that's not great, but we have our shield guy that can deal with that. Predicates. Three whole damage. I really hope that this is not a. Oh, this is both so bad again. Oh no, we may lose this run. Oh, we did so well earlier. Okay, rock control. This is bad because they have um, uh, a lot of cloaking uh, ships and missiles, so if we only have two hull, we really cannot be dealing with missiles right now. Zoltan ships are bad because they counter our boarding strategy with Zoltan shields, but yeah, it's still better than, than dealing with missiles right now. Where's the leak? Oh yeah, there still is a leak here. Get this repaired as quickly as possible. Man, man, man. Really, really difficult uh, um, Zoltan A run. Oh, uh, Zoltan A. Mantis A run. Let's hope we can pull it back. The distress beacon. Uh, um, why did I trust the rebel? I mean, I knew it was a bad idea. I'm going to take this to Stress Beak and it can be some free scrap uh, if we get a blue option event. And after that, I'm going to go down here to see a lot of jumps so that we can maybe find a store. Um, okay, it is a uh, free scrap event. A very high amount of, of free scrap. Um, yeah, I just really really hope that we don't die here they have a missile launcher i don't like that this may be death this may be death i mean nothing we can do about it uh, we we um especially the event with the rebel i could have just done better i could have just not taken the risk especially seeing how low we are um so yeah no one to blame but me Lethal or Artemis, if it's an Artemis, then we are dead outright. Okay, that's that's good. We hit uh, we hit our thingy. It's gonna teleport in there. That's our rock, that's really really quite unfortunate. Okay. We're gonna miss again. The missile launcher is down here, so what I want to do is actually just go into... Oh, no, no, not yet. Oh, fuck, we took damage. No, and the missile launcher came back online, I'm so dumb! I'm a dumbass. There's no other way to say it. I am a dumbass. Oh, 
Oh, if this is an Artemis, then I'm just dead. I'll take my chances here. Okay, that's good. Yes, oh my goodness, three dodges in a row. Yeah, exactly, Cyber Penguins. Two, two HP and a dream, that's exactly right. Okay, just gonna fire into um, uh, into the met bay here. I don't want any of these shots to hit my crew, so that's why I'm firing off on the right. Uh, gonna send these two guys out, then uh, in a different order, so that now this guy is tanking. Um, and I think that should take care of the ship. I think there's a rock still in here, that is pretty low. Okay, 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 pulling it back, my goodness. Oh, this is... Man, this is one of the harder runs that I've had in a while. In a... Oh no, no store. No store. That is not good. Oh, we had three dodges. I don't even know if it was an Artemis or a Leto. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Fingers crossed. I'll accept the bribe. I don't care. I, I, the free scrap and we don't have to fight this with a missile launcher. Hell yeah. <gasps> yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think, uh, okay, shitty weapon, I don't care, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not dead. Fire suppression, I don't care about either, uh, we have NGs for that. Oh, it feels so good. The question is, do I take the charge ion here or not? Um, I don't think so, but... Hmm. Is maybe something to think about, but yeah, repairing to... to um, not full HP, but at least to to a decent amount feels really, really good here. Um, definitely gonna check out this this distress afterwards, and probably head up here uh, to go back to the exit. Okay, we are alive again. Three dodges on missiles. That is, uh, what do we even have? Like forty three um, uh, dodge chance, forty eight percent. That's a pretty low chance of happening. Three times in a row. So lucky. So lucky. Okay, good stuff. Let's uh, let's continue with our uh, well weapon system. Um, let's send an away party. Okay. Nothing apparently. Distress beacon. Let's hope for some good blue options. No, nope, it's a trap. Um, just gonna fire everything in there. Um, maybe not the small bomb. Actually, now I think about it, because I need, I want the small bomb to disable the missile launcher later. And another dodge. I love it. Okay, that's a lot of nothing. Taking even more damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire the small bomb here uh, to get my guys in. Okay. So I just want the 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 um, uh, the temporary power from the from the backup battery to go into teleporting here. Uh, gonna teleport into the engines. Uh, this is repaired now. Let's see if this hits. That's unfortunate. I would have obviously liked to for this uh, missile launcher to go down, but maybe the um, uh, the small bomb can take care of that now. It did not. That is again quite unfortunate. Yes, perfect. Okay, gonna send my two other uh, borders over next. a 4 on one situation here. I, I'm actually gonna take out 
Nah, I'm just gonna keep him. In. I'm just gonna keep, do a four and one, and then uh, um, fire into their med bay. Just take it down like that. Yeah, there we go. Send these guys in to finish the job. Much, much easier than the previous fights. <laughs> Repair that. Get this guy over there, this guy over here. No, I want to be to get in there. Heal up that one. Okay, okay, okay. We did get a lot of scrap. Um, so yeah, the more... Um, the further along in the in the run you go, the more scrap you you, you gain generally from events. Um, and right now we're just collecting an insane amount of scrap. So scrap issues are, are really no longer an issue for us. Um, so we have three nebulas coming up, and I know that there's a, a nebula event with um, uh, where we can get I think crew members and weapons if we upgrade our piloting, and it's such a cheap upgrade. Uh, that's actually that's actually worth it to to upgrade before heading into a few nebulas like this. Um, it is a nebula event where you have an iron storm present, so it can't be just one with with a normal uh, one. And I mean, this is exactly this is this is literally exactly why I, I upgraded my piloting beforehand. Um, by upgrading piloting, you have uh, uh, the chance to look for survivors or equipment, and in this case, I definitely want equipment. Ah, that is unfortunate. I mean, it's it's not a guaranteed hit. Apparently, I didn't know that either. Um, but yeah, it is it is a possibility. And because this was the nebula event that I'm looking for, I don't I don't need to take this uh, uh, nebula right now uh, because it can't be this event again. So I just want to look for stores now because again we have a lot of scrap. Uh, that is intruders on board, not a big deal. I'll just mind control one of them. Get my things back up and running. Okay, they also teleport themselves. That means that I can teleport now. I'm gonna teleport in there. I'm gonna get this guy over here. Uh, these they teleported in here that's not a big deal I do want to take on this missile launcher so I'm gonna fire my flak cannon into their weapons and ah that is unfortunate I should have waited until the the, the thing went down okay the mind control guy actually went down that's good uh, we do have a missile launcher like a really big ass missile to deal with right now so yeah, that's not great, but I also want to take down their clone bay. Uh, that's gonna kill him, no? Oh! Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah. So it's a big ass missile for damage. Uh, if if the missile would have hit this room while my guy would be still be in there, he would be dead. So, but just by pulling him out of the room, I was able to save him. Um, and now I can just repair the breach that is going on there. Uh, I don't need shields. Uh, they they don't have any any weapons that can uh, that can damage us anymore. Uh, and yeah, just gonna take care of the last the last bit of the last few crew members. Is there still more. There are. Oh, no, no, no. This way. Thank you. Okay, I'm just glad that this missile didn't fire again because 4 damage is a lot of damage to be taking right now. Okay, that's good. Our rock crew member has, gotten, has taken some damage. Good shit. And let's go back. Let's get back out there. Oh, and there's the store. So one, two, three, four, five is what I'm thinking now. Yeah, yeah, I think that's 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 what I'm gonna be doing. I really want 
cloaking in this store or a really good weapon system like a another flag one would be nice or uh well none of these <laughs> okay long range scanners is something that that i will be taking um it's basically the only thing that is worth taking uh automated reloader is is also quite good um because it just lets you fire a lot quicker um, fire your weapons a lot quicker. I mean, ten percent quicker. Um, but long range scanners is just more scrap gains because I can better plan my uh, my turns by uh, by by looking ahead where uh, ship fights actually are. Uh, I'm really glad that I didn't take this jump because um, empty iron storm. So so nebulas with a uh, with an iron storm without a ship fight, so without this 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 triangle here, um, there can only be a three uh, like a few things. I think three, if I remember correctly, it can be the the piloting thingy that, that we had already. It can be secure the fuel and the uh, then the and the weapons or the ammunition, uh, and also then some kind of event where you have to chase a um, a rebel fighter or something, and. Yeah, the other ones is, is, is kind of pointless um, to have to secure the fuel and the uh, and the ammunition uh, because we don't need fuel, we don't need missiles right now. So yeah, there was no point in going there. We could also upgrade three shields here. I think I would rather save up for a better offensive system. Defensive, we're pretty we're pretty good right now. I don't think we need anything else. But yeah, offense is another story. Uh, teleport in here, mind control with two power. The first guy that we see, and just take everyone down that we that we encounter. That's actually a big issue. Um, yeah. Gonna try and get the what? Ah, that is so unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I knew that the that the uh, missile was about to fire, um, but yeah, I wasn't I wasn't able to get this down quick enough. Two damage will be enough to um, to actually take down the missile because they only have one other man. Uh, uh, unfortunate. Um, they only have one more. Uh, 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 weapons power in, in weapons uh, with the uh, what's it called there? So sorry, I'm I'm just walking around here because I want to wait for my for my other borders to arrive because I don't want my guys to be killed. Please get in there. Yeah, they can't get in there because right now I'm. <gasps> Okay, they can now get in there, and I want these guys to be on top and these on the bottom. Okay, wow, that was really scary because I think this guy, if this if, if this guy had taken one more damage from um, from the mantis, then he would have died, and that uh, would have been pretty bad. Um, so yeah, just gonna I just walked them around the ship long enough, and during walking, uh, uh, enemies can't do damage. Um, so you just walk them around the, the, the ship until uh, you find a point where you are able to, to get in more crew and then just uh, um, uh, let these guys, let the fresh guys tank, uh, tank the hits of the Mantis. Okay, heal our guys back up. This guy needs a little bit more. Okay, 230 scrap. That's a lot, a lot of scrap. So, yeah, definitely want to be spending that pretty soon. Um, maybe we should upgrade this. But currently the biggest issue that we have is with missiles. So either drone control or... Um, oof, that was tough. So either drone control or um, 
uh, what's it called? Cloaking is, is going to be the way how we can uh, how we can survive this. So right here, I'm going to open everything. But uh, I'm going to open everything up, all of these rooms to to um, to be vented, uh, just so I can remove the oxygen from uh, from this room so that they can come into the med bay. Yeah, you can come in now. Thank you. Because these guys explode when they when they die, I just want my guys to be as healthy as possible uh, uh, when these guys actually explode. So right here, I'm just gonna fire. It's they, they do have a chance to hit me, um, which is why I should probably be pretty quick with removing their shields and then also getting uh, getting their pilot down and everything. I think I'm gonna go into shields here, I'm gonna mind control one guy and then just gonna try to um, hit their med bay first I think. Med bay is down. This guy can already come over. Yeah, so right now I'm, 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 this guy is, is under 30 health, so he can't stay in the room any longer because as soon as, as things start dying... Okay, okay, that's good. I have killed, killed three here. No, uh, I was wondering how, how I got that. Um, so as soon as things start dying, there, there can be a chain reaction and then, yeah, it's, it's just a bad idea to have... Um, to have an, uh, your crew members with less than uh, uh, 15 HP in the room. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep this, uh, keep these guys here to, to deal with the last Sultan and that we were completely safe. Do I want another power bar? That's basically what I'm being offered here. I don't think so. I mean, Power bar is pretty good, but I need these guys for these these mats for fighting. It's my pilot. I could maybe substitute the rock, but I don't really like that idea. I could kick out the NG, put the Zoltan on on engines, and then keep the uh, rock as the doors guy, but. Yeah, not really like, don't really like that idea. I'm just gonna gonna kick him out the the airlock. Uh, I think our team right now is pretty good. Um, I wouldn't like to change too much about it. Uh, never change a winning team, right? Uh, and right now we are uh, definitely winning. I mean, we crawled back from from two HP. So yeah, that is uh, that is not bad at all. Okay, there's the exit. I don't want to spend anything yet. We're, st we're still in sector six, so there's not even the, the end. Um, uh, we're gonna scrap for some debris. We don't need survivors, so we're just gonna get some free scrap. Okay, yeah, I'm guessing we're going engine controls. Um, very, very good. I wanted to have engine controlled anyway because I want stores. And there's our first store, perfect. I'm gonna go distress first and then into the store. Uh, hill and I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna teleport or do I try to shield because if I do this I think I just get a crew member but I don't want that I want scrap so I'm gonna try to shield okay that is okay I mean 26 scrap right now repairs cost uh, four per uh, per repair so this was a 10 scrap gain event so yeah not that great uh, we have nothing to sell off. Uh, we do have something to repair, though. Um, I don't. I don't like repairing this much uh, this late in the, in the, in, the, in the game because um, at the end of this sector we're gonna get a a repair anyway. Um, yeah, we still don't. We still have not found a good uh, weapon system, but we did find drone control, and I think I'm just gonna take it here. Um, we have a lot of we have a lot of drone parts that we can use for this. This can um, really help us out against missile, which have been 
the death of us pretty much. Uh, I don't need drone recovery arm because we have enough drones. We're so late in the in the in the game. We don't need that. Um, do I need any of these? I don't think so. Maybe the system repair drone would be nice um, because we are struggling currently to to get stuff repaired because we have so many mantises on board. Um, let's see what is around us. Before we did make any decisions, let let's have a look what we uh, what we can. If there's a store next to us, there is not. I would like to go down here. I don't know. Go here, 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 something like that, to see what these two things are. If there's a store there, then I know that there's only one more store in this in this direction. Um, I'm really thinking about the system repair drone. They're so slow though. Let's see, where, the, where is the thing? It's right here. Nah, I'm not gonna buy it. So the system repair drone will always come back to the room um, uh, after it's finished with the repair. So it has to go, let's say it's, let's say our uh, uh, mind control is, is um, needs repairing, then it's gonna go all the way here and then go all the way back and they're so slow. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna buy that. Okay, so now we just need to find something Okay, let's attempt to download. Oh, that's really good. Now we know where the stores are. Oh, that's a horrible location, but I, 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 it's still, it's still good. I mean, it's still, you know, I'm not, not complaining at all. Something like that. Maybe. Doesn't look too bad. We do we need a store. That this is this is I mean <laughs> this is the same <laughs> the same setup that I've had since since the first sector. We we need to find something here. Uh ay, ay, ay. yeah, that's really bad. Um I'm thinking of upgrading my backup battery here. Uh, we've, we're gonna encounter so much scrap that, that the 50 scrap on this on the backup battery is not too bad. And it's gonna allow us to power the defense drone and the teleporter. Um, so yeah, let's just hope that we uh, get some good events here. Okay, they're gonna teleport to us, so we know what that means. We're just gonna chill. And the defense drone coming in handy already. They're gonna teleport in there. That means I, I'm gonna teleport over in here. Mind control one of them. As soon as, soon as that happens, this goes down. Um, and boom. Hell yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, I think I don't even need to, to, to get these guys over here, but yeah, I'm just gonna do it because it's quicker. Very good. Defense drone doing its job. So even even if you have a defense drone, it's not guaranteed actually that they will shoot down missiles all the time. Um, there are certain angles at which missiles can come in, especially from this side, for instance, where the defense drone is just not gonna be able to react in time and then it's still gonna hit you. So a defense drone is, is, is decent, but it's not, it's, not a, uh, it's not a guarantee that uh, you won't get hit by missiles. It's also nothing you can control, so yeah, you just have to live with that fact. Let's see, get down here, down here, down. Let me get some free scrap. Hail them? No, nope, no free scrap for me. Um, gonna load up the defense drone again. I just want to get through the resultant shields, then teleport in. I mean, same procedure as we did uh, all the other times. See, right there, drone, uh, drone was ineffective. That was quite unfortunate. Uh, Still going to teleport in. 
Oh shit, the, the thing is not even done. I didn't see that. I, I just heard the, uh, the what's it called go off. Just assumed that they uh, that it went through. Let's have a look where the thing is going. Okay, so it's not gonna hit the the teleport, which is what I was afraid of. Gonna go in here, gonna mind control one guy. Small bomb the med bay, it's on fire as well. Then flag and hit the weapons. Perfect. This thing is going down. I think I'm just gonna go uh, not like that. Okay, send in more guys. Okay, mind control stopped. Uh, need to get the med bay down again. Okay, very good. Uh, so yeah, getting the missile launcher offline now was crucial. Double reward this lady to the game. Oof, that's that's some good stuff. Okay. Let's get some repairs going. This is all fine, all good. Okay, you healed up, and you as well. So yeah, there we saw that even though we have a defense drone, we're not always guaranteed to uh, uh, to be safe from missiles, just like I mentioned before. Uh, it's just something that happens, and like uh, it, if 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 the proximity to the outside of of, of where the defense drone can look and can aim at the, the missile it's quite close to to your ship uh, um, then it has a really uh, it has a high likelihood of, of hitting especially compact ships like the ng ships um, they're usually more they're better suited for for drones for defense drones because they're because they're so compact Okay, I just want to save up. I, I mean, there's nothing really that I can spend my scrap on that would increase my offense. Um, I'm gonna attack, but this is gonna be a tough fight, I feel like. And I think the only way in, with which we can win this fight is by teleporting over and just doing some damage to their systems. But yeah, that is... Super sketch. Oh, they have cloaking three as well. Ugh. The only good news is that we have um, uh, that we have such high weapons power of uh, such high uh, engines power, and then it goes into weapons with the iron bomb. Oh, that's like four iron damage that we just took, so it's gonna take a while for us to, to get back. Uh, this is a charge uh, a laser, so it's gonna fire more rapidly the more it fires, so yeah. That's pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Again, do not want to teleport over uh, over there because we might may get stuck. Um, just gives us a chance to lose a crew. Uh, maybe I fire into piloting here. Ah, uh, uh, good. I mean, the chance was already quite low that I would actually hit, but... I mean, if this fires into shields, the iron bomb, then I'm so f fudged. Like I said, the good news is that we're going to get a repair at the end of the sector anyway. Um, Goodness. I think as soon as I as soon as I uh, uh, my my shields get hit, I'm just gonna jump out and go to the store. The scrap gains of this event are not gonna make or break this run. Okay, that's good. Thing is down. They're gonna cloak now, though. They're gonna cloak now. Thank you. That's unfortunate, but this is. Here's something... No, no. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Here's something that you can do against iron, iron damage. Um, 
one thing that you can do is run your run your uh, um, thingy over there. Your your um, what's his name? Uh, my my Zoltan. And now I can charge my small bomb, even though I have complete iron damage on my on my system. And that's just because they can overcharge the system. And that way I'm able to fire now. Uh, get this laser down. And now I'm able to fire to to uh, to get everything operational again. But yeah, that is just a way to 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 deal with iron damage in a creative way. Um, very interesting interaction. Uh, very useful sometimes. But man, yeah, this ship is gonna take out the rest of our missiles. I'm afraid. It's not that big a deal. Uh, it's just, yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna fire into into piloting here again. Really hope that it hits, and then I'm gonna slowly whittle down this this teleporter. I think, or this this uh, uh, what's it called? This cloaking device, so that we can have more volleys more regularly. Okay. Gonna go shielding now. Very good. Just before they they hack. Or just before the cloak. They're firing their, their iron weapons in very random spots. Um, yeah, I don't mind that those those kind of spots at all. Okay, thing is down. Now we're just gonna focus on um, on weapons and shields. That's the only downside. You don't know when this thing is going to come up again. Um, so yeah, you just have to, to hope and pray. Oh, look at me. Good. This thing is down again. So now we actually have a few a few seconds. So they don't have any more missiles, we can see, because the, the thing is actually depowered now. Did this, did this does mean that they have a charge laser back online, but yeah, we can just take it out now. Okay, yeah, our, our weapon system is definitely the most important thing for us to upgrade. I mean, you can see that so many of our issues are just related to not being able to deal damage to ships that don't have a crew. Uh, the good news is we don't have to deal with that on the flagship because the flagship uh, does have crew. Okay, last volley most likely. Nope, because we missed everything. And yeah, they're gonna cloak now again. But yeah, this thing can't damage us, so it's not a it's not a big deal. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it's just gonna take some time. I'm um, considering just, just small bombing again, um, because, oh, okay, yeah, now, I, now I kind of have to. Okay, they have cloaking level 2 back. Can I please get a hit? Nope. Okay, yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry for asking. Oh, please. Please. No, 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 no. Come on. You can do it. Yes, there we go. And we hit. Good stuff. And let's investigate the station. Completely stripped clean, nothing there, but we do get a store. Please give me a weapon system. Oh, you cannot be serious. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that happened. That's, uh, yeah, that is uh, something else. Uh, I don't know if you've ever experienced a cyber penguin, but uh, yeah, there are uh, 
I found no. I found basically no laser weapons that are decent. I, I found one whole, whole laser two in, in the beginning somewhere, but at that point it just wasn't worth it to go for it and to invest that much scrap. Uh, but man, this is this is tough. This is really tough. Let's see. All the other things are pretty pretty bad. I would say battery charging yeah, and no. it's it's not that great. Let's just collect some more scrap, uh, upgrade our defensive capabilities, and um, yeah, let's just hope that our defense is, is better than their offense. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty lucky, because if you not finding weapons is one of the most most difficult thing I think I feel like in this game to to play around and there are different ways of 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 defeating the flagship especially in the end but um, yeah with crew it's 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 challenging to say the least well I hope that uh, uh, um, some of my uh, <laughs> I hope that some of the tips that I'm that you that you pick up from the stream are uh, are helping you to to win uh, to win your runs in the future. Um, so right here, this is an event where a mantis thinks that he's a human, and one of the few events where the human is actually a blue option. I think, if not the only event, if you send in a mantis to communicate, I think I'm not, not sure. Um, this may result in the death of your mantis, so I'm gonna mind control him uh, because I think that's a safer option. Um, and yeah, just get some free scrap. Let's get to our next jump. More free scrap, I like it. I may dive this uh, because we're gonna get a repair anyway in the next sector, and it's just gonna be more more scrap. Um, I think I'm just going here. Or are we gonna just. Nah, I'm just gonna do the stress this uh, two fights afterwards. Yeah, there, there are a few things that you can do with the, with the flagship cyber penguins. Um, I, I'll show you what I do, uh, what I tend to do usually with um, um, uh, in the flagship fight that may, that may help you in the future as well. Uh, so in the last few runs, I've had cloaking, and cloaking is generally the best, uh, the best uh, uh, system to to counter uh, the flagship fight, because you can uh, cloak in certain times in the flagship fight where you, that it just barely does any damage. Uh, but yeah, let, let's let's get there first, and then I'll show you what what I do in this uh, in this run. Uh, let's search for the ship uh, stasis pods. I'll take the weapon. That is a great event. So this is the way, this is the, the event to, to get uh, the Crystal Cruiser, uh, one, of the, one of the hardest to unlock ships uh, in FTL. And if you grab the Stasis Chamber, I think then you have to go through a sequence of events where you have to get to a Zoltan Research Station in a Zoltan Sector and then... Um, Uh, yeah, you can hack drones in the drone phase, just to answer uh, uh, Cyber Penguin's question here. Uh, so, so, you can hack drones, but they have a defense drone. So, you have to get your hacking part past their defense drone. And in, in I think the previous run actually showed how to do that. In this one, we, we don't have a, a uh, um, we don't have hacking, so we don't have access to that. Uh, but you can look at one of my previous runs. I think, I think, yeah, I think the previous one, the Zoltan one, had had hacking. Um, so and there you can just skip to the to the flagship fight, and you can see how I get uh, the the uh, the hacking part past the the defense run. Is basically uh, powering and depowering your. Uh, okay. Yeah, so in that in that case, you're, you're, I'm, I'm guessing the question is, does it de does it disable the the drones that spawn uh, um, from the uh, from the energy surge, right? And the answer is no. It will only disable the the two drones 
that are there the whole time. Um, so yeah, it will not help you to 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 avoid this drone phase. Uh, Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take the weapon here, hope for something good, we get a hull beam, that's not bad. That is actually useful. Okay, wasn't expecting to get a weapon after all this time, but it seems that we have found something. I'm not sure what I want to keep though. I, I do like the small bomb and I... Uh, oof. Tricky. Can definitely be used uh, for damage. So how do you deal with drones without cloaking? Uh, you upgrade your your um, your engines. Uh, so the 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 way to to uh, increase your chance of winning, I think, is shields and, and engines. If you don't have uh, uh, this really OP stuff like cloaking and 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 um, hacking and stuff like that. So engines give you like I have fifty one percent dodge chance. Like fifty one percent of the time, I just don't take any shield shield damage and if the drones can't get through my shields well then I don't have any issues and this also dodge chance also works for missiles so that's really really good um, so I think engines are, are, are the best way to deal with um, uh, to deal with uh, the drone phase but yeah like I said let's let's see how I let's see how I fare in, in against the, the drone uh, the drones because I do only. I, I mean, I only have. Uh, I only have engines to and, and, and shields to, to deal with that phase. So uh, maybe you can 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 see how, how I approach it, and then uh, maybe do it in a similar fashion in your runs. Um, so what I was saying, the whole beam is actually quite useful because we now have a a beam weapon to go along with with uh, um, with the rest of our setup. The only issue is we have three weapon slots. And if we substitute out the whole beam, uh, the small bomb for the whole beam, then we only have four lasers to take down four shield ships, uh, and then we, and, and only then we can damage with our whole beam. So I'm not I'm not sure what what I prefer right now. I think this is still the setup that I would like to run, and then maybe do something like this later, where we actually swap out the basic laser for the whole beam. But yeah, it's it's a uh, it's not easy, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna reject your offer. In quotation marks. Um, they have a missile, so probably gonna um, probably gonna uh, uh, use a defense drone. I'm gonna go into thing right here. Where are you guys? You are in here. So I'm gonna go. And get you off the uh, off this door. I want my pilot to be uh, to be kept on online. Oh, I should have healed this guy up. That was bad. That was a mistake. So this Sultan is about to explode here. Not that big a deal. Um, I just want to get rid of their uh, their clone bay here, um, so that they don't so that they can't clone. Uh, um, their, their guys back up whenever they uh, are killed. Lots of NGs, yeah, not really that, that worrying to be honest. Uh, okay, that's pretty bad. Um, because I didn't want, I didn't want them to jump back. Uh, because now these guys have to deal with the Zoltan that is exploding and they were pretty low. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull them back and then just, just board another time with uh, with my guys okay I'm gonna pull two power off there Oop. and that should be it unfortunate we get another ng uh, yeah we, we already have enough ng so in out of the airlock with you we took some damage to our weapons also not great but yeah, details um, like I mentioned, we get uh, a repair after this um, uh, at the end of the sector, so not a big deal at all. Uh, so, gonna get my guys healed up. I'm gonna get some water in the meantime, so I'll be right back.
Relaxing. We'll get our crews back in position. Let's see. Last ship fight. I really hope we can encounter a store in the uh, in the final sector. There's a really small chance you, you find one there. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so there's several things here that are worrying me. Uh, one is they have drones, which means that they, they may have an anti-intruder anti, uh, drone. Um, okay, sure, man. Uh, so they they won't have they may have an anti combat drone and in that case I'm I'm you know I may be screwed. Uh, the other thing is they're trying to get away. They have a missile system and a Vulcan. I need to disable these weapon systems, especially this one, uh, if I want to survive this. Uh, the defense the this uh, this missile weapon we can deal with with our defense drone, but especially boarding is going to be really tricky in this in this fight. Um, let's just see how it goes. Okay. It's mind control. You see? Oh man, I knew it. Really difficult. Uh, it's going to be really, really difficult. Their, their FTL is delayed because they, they, they take their guy off piloting. Um, but yeah, we're going to be in, in some trouble here, I feel like. I'm going to small bomb into weapons because that may be able to take down this this Vulcan. I'm gonna pull up my defense drone to deal with the, the thingy there. Okay, Didn't, they did take care of the, the missile, but not of the... Uh, I need to I need to pull back my, my, my guys here. Oh! Oh, that is interesting. I, I, I knew this, I, I didn't know this would happen, but I knew that it could happen. Because we mind control them, we can actually teleport him back because he's sort of our crew. So yeah, we actually uh, took care of one of the enemies there just by uh, taking him back with us. In the meantime, I'd want to get rid of this Vulcan um, because this can be a real pain in the ass if it, if it gets uh, uh, fully charged. Oh yeah, our, this guy is fighting. Uh, is punching his way through the um, through the uh, uh, teleporter system. Uh, let's let's just heal these guys back up. Small bomb, keep small bombing this. Uh, we their FTL is still charging, so that is something we need to uh, um, be careful about as well. Okay, FTL charging still. We need this thing to come online. This guy here. Okay, now it's now it's delayed again uh, because we took the pilot off. I really hope that this lands. That's really good. That's really really good. Okay, their med bay is down. We need to get this down because this can this can tear through our shields really quickly. Okay, they have a system repair drone. That's not great, but also not terrible. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did uh, uh, another time where I just walk it, uh, in and out of the rooms um, because the anti-combat drone is uh, quite slow, so you can utilize that to your advantage. Um, so yeah, quite quite a tough ship fight, uh, uh, but in the end we, we pulled through. Uh, we still have a lot of scrap to spend. Um, I do want to save it for the next sector. Because again, if there's a store there and there's a good weapon system, I do want to be able to buy that. Uh, we can always just upgrade our, our uh, uh, engines uh, uh, like this. Um, in, in the next sector as well, so yeah, that, that shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a dive. Um, I'm not that worried. I have really good engine setup. Um, I can just power them fully, and I should be able to get out of there before the FT before the ASB actually fires. So 
Yeah, that should not be an issue. This is really scary. Holy moly, that is scary. Ay, ay, ay. That is some weapon system. There's 14 projectiles that are coming my way now. My goodness. I mean, the only thing is, I'm probably gonna get out of there before they can actually fire, but... Uh, uh, okay, right here I pause buffered just enough. If I get out of here, I won't get hit by these. So, see ya. So even though they had a really scary weapon system, it really did not matter at all. Like, they didn't do damage. Amazing. So good. Good stuff. Let's see. Is there a store somewhere? No, there is not. Not yet, at least. Uh, the base right here. So we need to um, get down here at some point. Oh, they're going to overtake this pretty soon. Oh, this is a really tough... Uh, a base actually. I'm gonna go up here then go back down and we're not gonna be able to see a lot of a lot of uh, this sector uh, which also means that the probability of, of finding a store actually went down significantly here um, but yeah it's it, it is what it is we did find something we are out of bombs I did not notice that that is well in that case I'm gonna do this if, if we can't use the small bombs, then uh, there's no point in having it. Uh, let's get one more uh, power into weapons to be able to power that as well as the, the rest of the setup. Uh, I did not pay attention to that, I, I must be honest. It, it shouldn't matter in most of the fights uh, because uh, most of the fights here, they're just going to have a ship with, with crew and then I can just board them and, and kill them that way. Um, but yeah, these ships can be really tough uh, to deal with um, because we uh, uh, because they may have these uh, anti-combat drones. Uh, okay, let's just do the same thing that we did the, the previous few times. Okay, good shit. Try to get a hit like this off. There we go. The missile went past. I didn't notice that they had a missile. Um, okay, we actually turned off the repair drone. That's really that's really cool. Um, okay. Yeah, right here we just want to uh, deal damage to the. Um, to the what's it called system, to the uh, um, medbay system. Um, and there's a few way you can do this, ways you can do this. Um, very good, that is one way. Oh, that's, that's really bad, eh? So right here, they can't get, they have doors too, so it's actually quite tough to get through this. Um, I just hope that I can get this guy down as soon as possible uh, um, to then deal with the rest of the guys. Uh, the medbay was down already, so okay, very nice. Some uh, nice achievement as well. Um, I'm really happy that I brought over the, the weapons guy uh, as soon as I did. Uh, that really helped to, to turn the tide. Uh, if you get a 4 and one going that's that's the best you can have uh, uh, in or a foreign one. If you have a, a more more people more crew than they have, that's um, yeah, that's that's just an amazing thing. Uh, that's going to help you out a lot uh, to deal with uh, boarding situations. Uh, prepare to fight. Okay, this looks like a pretty simple ship. I'll just let them board me. Board in myself. Where are they? They're right here. I'm just gonna open these doors. Get my guy in there. Get some 
uh, uh, mind control action going. Close the doors once they're through. I mean, yeah, this this doesn't look like like too much of a fight to me. Thing is down the the uh, um, uh, what's it called clone clone. Wow. Oh shit. Maybe I. Okay, in this instance, I should have backup battery and and had some some more engine power. Uh, we took one damage here just because of that. Quite unfortunate, but and very unnecessary. Gonna heal these guys back up in the meantime. We don't need to charge the the thing. They're gonna be done before then. Contact the survivors. Holy moly! One hundred scrap from this event. Insane. I, I can't spend it on anything, but uh, yeah, yeah, pretty good. Not bad at all. <clears throat> oh shit, this guy is... Uh, I didn't see that this guy also had some, uh, taken some damage. Okay. Let's heal this one back up as well. Get all of you back in position. I'm gonna go repair. I go to the repair station here already because I want to get some more repairs gone, going before uh, I go to the base. And these two jumps might actually be um, uh, uh, jumps with the uh, with a store as well. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go here. I feel like I think that's the best thing I can do. Um, yeah, the small bomb. I mean, we do have eight missiles again. So it can be used. No store, unfortunately. Uh, so in that case, I know that this isn't a store. This can't be. A, this is not a store. This is a ship fight, and this is not a store because it's a repair station. So I'm just gonna spend my scrap now. Uh, there's no point in saving up anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna get some some stuff here, some value points. Three points into weapons, and then one more into doors. Okay, and that should be good. That's maxed. Yeah, very good. Fifty-five percent dodge. That's insane. That's you very rarely get get fifty-five. Usually, um, uh, usually you get a little bit less because uh, um, uh, because you want to deal with. Uh, uh, because there's just other priorities but right now we spend so little in weapons that we could spend it all on engines and shields um, there's a hacking part coming towards us and I don't want to deal with that so I'm gonna put in my defense drone and it can shoot it down there's another drone coming towards us oh my goodness this defense drone is owning them right now holy moly uh, yeah, so they, they did get a hack through in the end. It doesn't really matter uh, because backup battery hack is not not the worst. Um, they have a Vulcan. That's not too. That's not great. Um, I think this is the way to go. I'm just gonna go into into drones here. Mind control the first guy that I see. And then just flak, basic laser, and go like that. I just want to, to get this Vulcan down. Uh, all I care about right now, they have four shields, which is pretty bad. Maybe I should have gone here, actually. Uh, go into shields, uh, get that down. Uh, they, don't, they, they do have a clone bay, uh, uh, but I don't think it should be a problem. I can already get this guy in there as well. Let's get the flag going and go like this and yep yeah, that should take care of that no problem good stuff no contacting the survivors this time doesn't really matter we're pretty strong as it is um, so finally have uh, uh, med bay 2 right at the end of the <laughs> at the end of the run. Um, here's something that I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm not gonna go to the repair station. 
I want to keep this repair station. I mean, it, it, it may get taken over, not sure, but it does give us a, a chance to use the repair station as an actual repair uh, uh, when we fight the flagship. I think that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, one more point into drones because I don't want that to go down very easily. And then one more weapon and then one more power bar. So yeah, we have a lot of power right now. We also still have uh, uh, the backup battery that we can use. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wait here for a second. Okay, it, it already got taken over. This only this this is only a, uh, um, how many how much scrap is that? I think 35 or something like that. Uh, we would get a few more missiles, which can be useful for the uh, small bombs. But yeah, I think uh, just waiting here is the is the correct way to do it. Um, so uh, to come back to to uh, hey Alex, how's it going? Uh, to come back to, to Cyber Penguin's question, how should I approach the flagship fight? Um, the flagship consists of three phases, and um, and the most important thing to 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 do in the first two phases is just to let it jump into you. So right here, I'm just gonna wait for for it to to start jumping into me and to fight on the base itself. Then on the third phase, I'm actually going to jump into them, and why that is, I'll explain when we actually get to the third phase. Um, the flagship has an unlimited supply of drones, of drone parts, so there's no point in shooting this down right now. If this hits something bad, then I'll just... Mm, I mean, it's alright. I'll, I'll, I'll let it... I'll, I'll keep it like this, I think. Uh, hacking, piloting is not great because that's literally what we rely on for dodging. Um, maybe I should reset. Not sure. What we rely on for dodging, uh, but yeah, there's there's nothing there's nothing I can do about it right now. Uh, I'll get this guy in position already because I know I will need him later. Um, gonna get some defense drone going. Teleport into this room here. Mind control this guy. Gonna try to get this down as soon as possible. Drones got hit once. Uh, not a big deal, but yeah, not not great either. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to get this door down now. Um, while trying to kill off some of their crew. Ah, that is so unfortunate. So right here it might be in a little bit of a pickle. Um, so I'm just trying to create some, some wiggle room for me. By punching down some doors. Hmm. Maybe, maybe the piloting hack was really good of them. <laughs> I'm just debating whether I should jump jump out of this oh yeah, yeah okay uh, whether I should jump jump out of this to uh, get a different hack but if they hack shields then I'm screwed as well so I may just roll with this after all but I really have to get this med bay down and that's gonna be difficult with cloaking tough 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 and this is just because our weapon system is not great. Um, this is what I what I expected to happen uh, uh, from from the start, and that's also why we looked for so many stores uh, earlier. Uh, just because we yeah we, we we're just lacking damage to get through the shields. Maybe one one thing that we also could do is um, uh, is have the small bomb installed. Um, that could probably help us to get through the shields and maybe also damage the med bay or something like that. So maybe maybe going going for uh, um, maybe going for uh, um, the small bomb would would have been the better choice. 
Uh, I mean, it's too late now, so I'll just have to deal with it. My my uh, thing here is on cooldown, my, my mind control, so I just want to wiggle around, see, see. Uh, this is just not gonna work, eh? Okay, my shields got hit pretty heavily by the, by the iron damage. I'm just gonna pull back, heal up my guys, um, and then head back out there once they're healed up. Let's see, maybe I can put some more power into um, into piloting momentarily, just to get a little bit more dodge chance. And then gonna heal back up my, my heal my guys back up. Thingy is down now. Maybe I should get an initial volley off or something like that. Maybe that's the way forward. Okay. Yeah, nothing we can do. Um, okay, okay, okay. Getting somewhere. Okay, that's not too bad. This is pretty good, actually. Um, we can teleport in here now. Mind control one guy. Uh, we need to get a lot of power to our shields back. Yeah, 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 I know. We're gonna take some damage. Okay, gonna get power back to our shields. I think I'm gonna move these guys back over. This guy's gonna die, for sure. Now move these guys over here. Um, these uh, missiles are gonna come out slower now. Uh, because we... Uh, because we damaged them once. Uh, and I'm now just wanting to do, do a little bit of damage to um, to shields and also to other systems, like hacking, for instance, so that their hack uh, lasts a little bit shorter. Uh, let's see, what is our current situation looking like? Just want to increase my dodge chance here. Taking so much damage, and this is only the first phase. But this, is, I think, is the most most difficult phase for us, uh, because they have so much crew that we have to to get through. There are fires on my ship somewhere. Let's see. Do we pull back? Do we go for it? I mean, our our. Thingy is almost back online, or our mind control. We can't let them fight much longer. Um, this is almost back online now. I think I'm just gonna pull back again. Um, gonna get my backup battery fixed. Gonna get this thing fixed. Where is the fires? I mean, it's an empty room, so it must be in one of of these rooms here maybe maybe over here i don't think i got hit here i think i got hit over here somewhere so i'm just gonna vent out a little bit this is actually quite bad that the mantis is repairing this um, because i would like to, to have this charge or oh, maybe this was too early maybe it's gonna i mean at this point we may even be able to just kill it oh outright um, I'm just gonna pump everything into dodge chance again. The more dodge chance we have, the less damage we take. Um, okay, gonna put everything back. That's really good that they cloak there. Okay, so it is here, the fire. Not a big deal, the rock can take care of this. Uh, it's only gonna spawn one at a time. Um, I'm thinking of just um, firing another volley of flak and basic laser. Hope that it hits. Hope that I hit with with all uh, four projectiles, and then I just kill them off by going into empty rooms. Hold laser. The, the hole beam does, does two damage to empty rooms, so it can actually deal a lot of damage. They just cloaked, I think. 
No, we missed one. One more volley. Uh, our defense drone went down, not a big deal. I think we can get one more volley in, but I'm not sure before the cloak. No, we missed one again, two actually. I'm pretty worried about this this fire here because it's gonna spread to shield soon as well. Um, yeah, then we're gonna have an issue. Ah, there we go. Okay, our drone control also is on fire. Messy, 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 messy fight. But like I said, just because our weapon system is uh, not up to not up to the standard that we would like uh, that we would like it to be. Not really that much I can do about it right now. Okay, lots of dodges. That's good. We're gonna get one more volley off here. No. Nope. Nah. This is just the the downside of, of having a weapon system like this. Okay. We can't wait much longer because we're just gonna get whittled down. Um, I am gonna go in with my original strategy and just uh, try and mind control some, some people. Um, and uh, get rid of some crew at least that way. Uh, we are getting hacked right now so these missiles are gonna hit for sure. Yeah, this guy is gonna die if, we, if we're not careful. Yeah, just a terrible situation to be in. I don't think we're gonna be able to, to kill. No, that laser, if it hit, uh, then I could have pulled back my guys with the teleporter. Ay ay ay, this looks horrendous. Yeah. I think this is it, uh, boys. This is uh, not looking good. Yes, it does. It does seem like a yikes fight. Uh, Malix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything is on fire as well. <laughs> yeah, this fire is in here, so I, I can't send them back to, to heal up. Uh, one more, one more chance. Oh, yeah, well, well, that's it. Then. Okay. Well, well, that's how you deal with the with the flagship uh, uh, cyber penguins. <laughs> So yeah, hope you learned a, a valuable lesson today. Uh, upgrade your weapon system earlier. That's that's the that's the take home message here. Um, yeah, we tried a lot of stuff to to get weapon systems that actually uh, um, <laughs> that are actually able to deal with this. But yeah, we just found, found no weapons that 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 were useful to us. Um, Maybe, maybe we should have gone for the small muscle earlier or something like that, or maybe a um, uh, maybe like I said the, the whole the whole uh, the whole laser really early on in the in in the um, in the run, but yeah, in general, tough, tough, tough matchup, uh, tough uh, tough luck. On, on getting weapon systems. I mean, we used the weapon system pretty much the entire run. Uh, so, yeah, really not that much that you can do sometimes. Uh, quite unfortunate, but hey, what can you do? Uh, we'll win it and we'll, we'll get it next time. Maybe I could have done the boarding events a little bit better as well on the, on the flagship fight. I'm really not used to, to doing boarding strats on a flagship. Uh, usually at that point, you, you, usually what you want to do, especially with this type of, of ship, is that you uh, use the boarding initially to get good weapons and to get good uh, a good setup to deal, to then deal with the uh, um, with the flagship. But yeah, we didn't really uh, get the chance to do that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm going to take a, a short break and then uh, I'll probably do a Slay the Spire uh, run uh, next. Um, maybe do some League of Legends or Guild Wars later. Depends on, on what I feel like. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you enjoy this type of, uh, of content, then uh, yeah, give me a like and a follow. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put this up on YouTube as well so you can check me out there as well. Also past runs that I've 
uh, I've uploaded there. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and uh, see you guys later.